Hello, everybody. This is Paul Pona. We are live. I'm super excited to have you all here. Uh, so we'll be getting in the way in just a second now. But before we get in the way, hope you can hear me okay. You can hear my voice okay and all that kind of good stuff. From when I'm speaking to when you can hear my voice, there might be a slight delay. So just watch out for that, all right? Now, a couple of things real quick. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a live actual business build along with you. So you and I together will be building a business together today. And I'll, I'll do it all with AI tools. And more important than that, I'm going to answer every single question as we go along. So it's going to be very interactive, okay? Uh, this is going to be slightly different from what I'm used to doing normally. Uh, generally, what I do is, uh, you know, basically I kind of do uh, events like this one. And then sometimes people, they enjoy the content, yes, but then they kind of go away and then they don't get value, right? So I'm going to do it in a very unique way. So I'm seeing Ray is ready. Michelle is ready. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Excellent. All right. Let's get underway here. So now real quick, what I wanted to kind of explain to you here is, um, and I'm going to simplify this for you in the, in the greatest way possible. Okay. And I'm going to show you how we map out building a business from scratch. Okay. Because that will give you some ideas on um, how to structure a brand, how to build a business and some other cool information uh, like that. All right. So now while I'm doing that again, any questions you have, keep them, uh, keep posting them. I'm checking your questions whenever I'm looking this way. It's that I'm checking your questions, all right? All right, so again, I'm gonna talk about human bot as well today, uh, real quick, okay? And I'm gonna be giving you some cool prizes, bonuses and stuff to attendees, like I always do. That's gonna be fun too. All right, now, first things first, let's talk about uh, the idea here, okay? Because we talk about AI all the time. Oh, AI, this, AI, that. there's so many tools out there. I mean, it, it's kind of getting frustrating sometimes to keeping up uh, with these tools too, right? I mean, you probably already know that. All right. So uh, let me share my screen here real quick, okay? So let's talk about a mapping out a strategy here, right? How do we build a business, right? So what do we need to get a business uh, to succeed, okay? And, you know, this is something that I, I'm building from over years. I'm talking about 15 years worth of experience. The only way you can gain, right, uh, revenue results, record-breaking results, or whatever it might be, basically, in order to do this, right, you need to get leads, okay? A business needs to get leads. A business then needs to get those leads, right, to be converted into potential sales, okay? And then those sales, okay, it goes one more step. A lot of people don't talk about this step. Those sales, they go in here, and let me put a different marker here. The, the Those sales need to convert, right? Those sales need to convert into repeat, right? Buyers. Okay. This is how we build a business. Like, so in other words, here, generally, this is what people say a funnel, right? What does a funnel really mean? Like really what it means is that the more, if you get leads to go up, the likelihood of your sales going up is higher and the repeat buyers going up is higher too. So the secret is then a lot of people get stuck in this element because of one reason. And that is something which we like to call traffic, right? So you want to get traffic somewhere, right? And people always get fixated in this part right here all the time, which is, I don't know, I don't know how to get traffic. How do I get traffic? Because the leads part is another equation. How do I get traffic? So the point is, though, a lot of the time, right? And I'm going to explain this to you today in greater detail majority of the businesses out there do not have a traffic problem. They actually have the leads to sales to repeat buyers problem, right? It's like this. If you have, let's say, a dentist, chiropractor, lawyer, uh, accountant, let's say you have an e-commerce business, right? No matter what you do, the point is those businesses already have a bunch of clients. They have no system though. This is what we need to talk about, okay? The system. And this is probably the most important strategy between somebody just making here and there, really little commissions here and there, making some small amount of money to actually generating a huge consistent revenue stream, okay? So I'll give you a quick backstory on this, right? Because I want to do this as, as a Q&A, if you will, right? So when I, um, when I got started in the early days, right, I didn't understand the concept of a system because I like everybody else, I made some mistakes, right? Mistakes that are probably worth tens of millions of dollars. Uh, the idea was I was focusing so much on this angle of traffic, 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 right? And I didn't realize that the system, right? Leads, sales, and repeat buyers 
and scaling things is more important than traffic or anything else that way. Now, this is where the mistake occurs, right? When you fixate about traffic, what happens is that you, let's say, let's say, for example, you got 100,000 visitors, right? Just to a page. If the leads generation operation is bad, no matter how much traffic you feed it, how much, how much you spend is useless, right? If the sales operation is bad, no matter how much, how much you do, it's useless. If the repeat buyers part is bad, then what happens? You spend all the time, energy, money to get somebody to be a customer and they didn't walk back to you or then purchase again, right, from you. Then again, what happens is you kind of miss them forever, right? So this is what we kind of wanted to solve here today, right? We want to make sure that we solve this here. So let's talk about the first aspect of it. And I'm going to give you a free software just for attending here today. And I'm going to make it worth your while because of this fact. And that free software allows us to simplify the traffic part of the process because we know where to go, right? So um, this application, we just recently updated it actually just uh, last week. Um, it's called the Video Tag Finder. Okay, let me just actually bring this up here uh, to your screen. Uh, this one we updated recently. So what this does, and I'm going to paste the link for you folks here. Uh, just for attending, you can go in here. Uh, the idea between this one is one of the biggest problems people have is finding sub niches or sub markets within a market, right? Um, so when you're uplo uploading a video, let's say we'll talk about video marketing today, of course, um, and we're going to build a business together, you and I, right? The point is, though, people always fixate upon the bigger keyword. Let's say, for example, a keyword like weight loss, right? A keyword like weight loss. This is what people fixate upon always, always, always. I've dealt with it so many times in the past um, where people fixate upon this idea of uh, always weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. The problem, though, is it's too broad of a keyword, right? So the thing is that even, even when it comes to uh, looking good, let's say something like makeup or something, people are like makeup tactics or makeup strategies or how to look good or whatever. The point is, Actually, somebody who's searching for a makeup guide here, like what you see on the ranking there, the secret is actually you go after, uh, and I've talked about this, and those who understood it really, really go and take it to the next level. Anyways, so you see that makeup guide? Actually, if you see the keyword that is hidden here for that particular thing, and you can get this application, by the way, for free, nothing extra to buy. Morning routine is the actual keyword that you could use to get the same type of an audience with lesser competition and more target targeting done, right? I'll give you an example. Um, back in the day when I got started, right? Uh, 20, uh, 2008, 2009, um, we had a big recession that happened, for global financial crisis and all that stuff. This, the, I found out one guy who was making insane amount of money in the weight loss market, right? Like insane amount of money. I mean, it was a top seller in some of the platforms out there. And I was not understanding how he was doing it. So I tried to ask, never got an answer, tried to do everything. And then finally, I just said, look, I'm uh, one of the top affiliates. Um, you know, I was uh, for a long period of time in different industries there. And I told him, look, I will get you traffic. You tell me the strategy that I need to do to get that traffic. And I'll spend money. I'll do whatever. I'll get it for you. And he told me something very interesting. And this is the secret, okay? And first things first, right? Like if we go back here, okay? If we go back here, and this tool will help you with the secret I'm showing. If you go back here, we're talking about traffic, right? It's much better instead of getting this 100,000 visit uh, people that we're talking about here, I'd rather just get maybe even 10,000 visitors, right? But they're targeted. I'll get even 1,000 people, but if they're targeted people, I'd rather take that than people who are not targeted, right? Like I, I found out somebody recently, they spent... $10,000 on advertising on TikTok and they got, uh, let's say 5 million views on that TikTok video and they got like 10 visitors, right? Uh, 10 visitors to their website from that. Why? Because that audience was not matching to the product, right? So first things first, or service for that matter. So first things first, we want to get targeted folks, right? So this solves that issue. So coming back to that person, right? So uh, he, he gave me a secret. And that secret I'm going to give you today. It's probably the most important secret you're going to learn for solving the problem of traffic, okay? So what he said is, look, Paul, right? I've done this whole thing for the, so much. Um, I've invested a lot of resources, time, and energy, and all this other stuff. One major thing I've realized, okay, is you got to go to audiences that other people don't normally associate with. In his case, what he associated 
right? He associated weight loss, right? Particularly with affinity of the buyer, as we like to call it. So what we mean by that is what he found out, and I'll show you exactly how to do it today, okay? What he found out is that for this weight loss keyword, he found out that mostly female, right? And uh, ages 35 plus, right? Were the target market, which were very likely to buy his particular product, okay? It was weight loss supplements or and also weight loss strategies tips. I think it was like Atkins diet or something. I can't remember now. But anyway, the point is, this was the target market. And then what he figured out is, where do these people hang out, right? And then he went into a little bit uh, and he tried something that completely changed the game forever, okay? And that was, he found out that these people generally also are interested in salsa dancing, okay? Uh, generally speaking, he found out that 80% of the people were female, 35 and above. They were also generally hanging out and in, 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 in interested in salsa dancing. So what he did, he went to all the forums, all the places like Reddit groups and these other places um, where people are talking about salsa dancing and he advertised himself, his product and all that. And it was literally like if you were to advertise for the keyword weight loss, right? or even go for it in Facebook groups or whatever, it's impossible to get traction. You go into salsa dancing and you get, uh, you know, for example, traffic of these 1,000 people, much cheaper to get, much easier to get. And now those people are more likely to buy this product, right? Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? The tool that we use to do this, uh, one of them, it's free by the way, and I'll get into a little bit deeper how do we go to the next step of building this business, okay? So the tool that we do to do this is called Similar Web. So how you would do this, any any website, right? Let's say, um, let's go to uh, Weight Watchers, right? One of the top weight loss products, right? Let's go here. And this is how we do it, okay? Um, um, and uh, basically, this is how you do it. So now, check this out. Here, it gives us 13.9 million views, okay? That we can get, uh, this, this website gets. It's growing, the traffic, you see that? So 11.7, and then it went to 13.9. And then here's the interesting thing. So this particular website, based on the tracking, 21% are 25 to 34, 16 in this, right? So females are 53.5, so 54% are females, right? And then if you scroll down here a little bit, there is something called affinity. You see this? Affinity means, this is what I was trying to explain to you. Affinity means this matches, this audience matches this particular other website or other industries, right? So what we like to look at, you see this, right? It's like the most uh, interesting thing here. These are all the websites that match the affinity, meaning the closest to that Weight Watchers website. So JennyCraig.com, right? So uh, she provides one-on-one -on -one support or whatever, right? And if you scroll down here, like this one, look at this. The traffic has been trending down. That's not good. Uh, but, but, but check the age groups that it's targeting. Okay, interesting. But I wanted to show you something here. Very interesting here. So you see this when you go in here. I was going to something generic like Weight Watchers and got into something called Atkins.com. So Atkins is a form of a diet, right? Like Atkins diet is similar to the ketogenic diet, right? So you see now, when we were beginning, right, this is the biggest secret that you're going to learn. The thing is, right, similar to what I was trying to explain to you earlier, how you have to structure this is Atkins is a subgroup to the bigger picture of the weight loss market, right? Now, if you say to somebody, okay, uh, go to, this is my weight loss product or whatever, people are going to be jaded with too much information. But if you go into affinity groups of this, which is where are people hanging out who are interested in losing weight? Like in that case, it was salsa dancing. Where are, what are the other interest groups of this? 45 to 50 uh, years old or whatever it might be, right? And then you're going to go deeper. You're going to learn this right way, right? And I do this exactly what I just showed you here, right? And um, you can go a step further too and go sub niches and all that. But the point is, this is how you go about getting the blue ocean, as we like to call it. What it means is there's no competition, right? So now let's go back into this thing and I'm gonna show you how to build a business here, right? Okay, so in this case, this was salsa dancing for his weight loss market, right? Found out female, um, you know, 35 and about or whatever, right? Now, 
that is how you're going to get traffic. So if you ever wanted to get traffic for a business, your own business or whatever, let's say you want to go and get it through Reddit, Facebook groups, Quora, uh, maybe you want to do it with a social media posting, uh, YouTube videos and all that, use that free tool that I gave you to find the sub markets that it gives. And in that sub markets, find out what are the key players in there. And then you're going to get some places where you can go into. And secondly, when you get the sub market of it, right, like morning routine, uh, what I was trying to show you earlier, right? So if I go into this uh, application, morning routine is the sub market to the bigger market, which is makeup, right? You're going to morning routine instead of makeup. When you create your content, when you're creating your marketing stuff, when you're going into groups, if you go into the sub market, that is where the bigger money is and easier money is, right? Because everybody else is saying weight loss tips, weight loss guide, I mean, very generic, right? Uh, so this is the big point, okay? When people are searching for stuff, they're not searching for makeup guide. They're actually searching for specific, hey, you know, makeup, uh, instead of saying makeup, they're going to say morning routine. Uh, like they might say like, for example, um, you know, natural ingredients uh, based, uh, something that will not crack their face or whatever it might be, right? Like uh, dry up their face or whatever, right? You get my point. So you can use this free tool for that. Now. Let's talk about the second part of the equation. And this is probably the most important part of the equation, which is leads, right? So you got a bunch of visitors. Getting visitors is not difficult if you can say, okay, I'm gonna give this for free or come check this out, or I gave this away for free or whatever it might be. This is something that anybody can do. You can do, any business can do, right? Second thing though is lead generation, okay? This is probably the most misunderstood process of the entire building a business part. Why? Because see, AI, right? If you talk about AI in particular, one of the secrets and one of the things I've learned um, with AI in particular is that AI works 24-7, 365 days a year, right? So that means effectively the advantage AI brings you is the fact that even when you're tired, even when you're asleep, even when you're away, it's going to do the job for you. This is the difference between you being profitable versus you being uh, you making a loss or not even making any money. Let me explain what I mean by that or any business if you're a consultant or an agency. So what happens, right? So generally speaking, let's look at any industry out there, like, like it's a food or um, let's say services or whatever. The profit margin is between 15% to 25%, okay? So this is basically the margin. The profit that this business is generating is 15 to 25%. So that means if they could just okay convert 10% more leads. Like if they can get 10% more leads to get into sales, right? A business is profitable versus making a loss and having to shut down. The margins are so thin at the higher level you go. So if you're trying to use AI technologies, AI is perfect for the process of lead generation to customer acquisition. Does that make sense? So this is the reason why I always say, we want to make sure that we are actually paying attention to this part of the equation first and then solve this with AI, okay? And I'll give you some case studies today how we go about doing it and how uh, we can structure this and all that. But am I making sense so far, okay? Let me know because the point is you need to understand that traffic is not a problem if you focus on the markets, which I solved that for you just now. You want to go into morning routine if it's makeup. Instead of weight loss, going to people who are interested in dancing. And most of the people who are interested in salsa dancing also as a byproduct are going there to lose weight, for example, right? So you may, maybe, for example, people are interested in the sport pickleball are doing it to stay fit. So now you're going to go into the pickleball market, but also link it to something like a weight loss or maybe staying fit or whatever, right? This is what we call affinity marketing. This is the next level way of thinking so that you can always be up to speed. That application will give you the affinity list, right? Now, the second thing, okay, and this is important, and when it comes to lead generation, one of the secrets of lead generation, right, and, and let's look at uh, like any market for that matter, right? The, the secret is always understand that people like to buy from people, right? When people go, when you're going somewhere else and, you know, wherever you go to, people will buy from people all the time. So now, Let's let's talk about what I mean by that, okay? And I'm going to kind of uh, reduce my volume here so you can actually uh, play around this uh, with me. So if you go into this, let's say, for example, I you know, I tell you the power of something or whatever, 
the power of some technology. So in this case, let's say this is the uh, human bot application, right? I was trying to tell you, which simplifies the process of, uh, you know, basically generating leads and converting leads into sales and negotiating the prospect and closing sales. See, in life, it's all about simplicity, right? The more simple things are, the more results you're going to get. So here's my point, okay? Let's say a business, even it's your business, let's say, for example. So let's say their margins are 10 to 15 percent, right? Meaning the 10 to 15 percent is the difference between them getting a sale or not. A dentist, let's say a lawyer, chiropractor, between generating the leads and getting the sales, any business, right? Accountant, uh, restaurant, whatever it might be. So here's my point uh, to you that I want you to understand uh, real quickly. So the point is, if you have 10 to 15 percent margins, let's say, for example, somebody came into a website, a blog or wherever it might be of that particular business and they came in on a Sunday night. There's nobody for them to call, nobody for them to text, no email that they can get a response from. Let's say they do that on a Saturday night, right? Or let's say, for example, they're, they're coming at midnight, 12 a.m. They're like, they just came out of work, they're frustrated, they really want a solution. Let's say their teeth are, uh, you know, like let's say they wanna get their teeth whitened for, let's say for example, and it's been something that's bothering them. And then they, they're they really, really frustrated. They wanna get sales from, uh, you know, they, they wanna get that solution um, for that problem, right? They're not gonna go to Google and say, how do I solve it? They'll just say, who is the closest owner, business owner, whoever, I want that person to answer that right now, right? So there you go, again, They'll come in here and they talk to a custom AI robot or AI human bot in this case, and it'll negotiate with them, get the lead, set up that, book that appointment in, right? And get that person's details. You got it. And it's trained off of the data of that person, right? Of that business, let's say that dentist or cosmetic dentistry or whatever it might be. So let's say, for example, you say, uh, my name is, uh, I'm just going to say, um, uh, Jeff, let's say I'm just making up some name. But you get messed up. But it's gonna say, "Welcome, Jeff," like this, and uh, get the email address and book the appointment and all that. Now, let me give you a secret, okay? Um, so basically, uh, the, there was this guy in Shark Tank. Uh, he was probably very famous. You probably already know him. But anyway, so he was in this uh, QVC, right? Like he was in the QVC channel, which is the TV channel, right? And um, basically, what happened? They found out that in the QVC channel from, uh, and most other networks, by the way, back in the day, but uh, a decade ago or so, from 12 a.m. at midnight, right, to about 5 a.m., right, this is what we like to call in TV, what they used to call the dead period, right? There was the dead period means like nobody wants to advertise because everybody is assuming they're sleeping. And by then the late night shows are done. So there was actually, at that point, there was no advertisers willing to advertise around this time. So literally this guy got advertising for free during this period right because there's nobody else he said okay well let's advertise some little money in the other prime time and then this time just give it to us for free they were like okay fine who's you're an idiot and like why would you uh take it okay fine we'll give it to you because nobody is willing to bid on it there's no money they made hundreds of millions of dollars just with this and the networks caught on after a couple of years. They're like, whoa, we're losing money here. And other advertisers found out that we're losing money. And then, of course, some people came in and they started jumping in. What I'm trying to say is in life, there are little, little pockets of opportunities that are, that are available that can infinitely increase the growth of a business, a brand, right? Similarly, for every business out there, having somebody, right? to basically answer, and then you can move it to live chat or what, whatever it might be, could be a format like this one, what I'm trying to explain to you. The difference is if somebody comes in and they need an issue resolved, they're actually going to want to book right away when it's hot. You've seen that issue, right? Like, let's say, for example, you're in pain, uh, you, you, you sprained your ankle or uh, you injured uh, yourself or something happened. And now you're like, I want a solution to the pain right now. Nobody's available. You go to the emergency area, you wait for like four or five hours, and then you're like, okay, I might as well wait because I'm here all the way. But instead, if somebody picked up your call, let's say your doctor, or let's say your, uh, let's say physiotherapist, or let's say a chiropractor, whoever you were rehabilitating that um, issue with, you will go to them first, right? So if somebody, there was a bot on that particular website of theirs or their business, you can immediately, even if nobody's there to pick up the phone call, 
you can just set it up right away, right? So uh, they can ask, like, how much does it cost? Like in this case, let's say, for example, I can say uh, that came in at midnight or whatever. Even for e-commerce businesses too, this would work, right? But um, like, are there any upsells uh, with uh, this product, right? And you can ask questions like that. And then it will intelligently answer with voice like a real human would, right? And it would uh, basically uh, specifically answer that, right? So this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Are there uh, any hidden fees with human bot, right? And you can ask questions like this. You, you see my point? And it will automatically, and no, there are no hidden fees with human bot, right? You see that? You can answer specific questions like that, and then it can point people to do it. And you can train it with your data, basically. Does that make sense? And train it with your data. So that means somebody's always there available, and more information you give it, the more likely it is that uh, uh, basically you can do. Now, uh, this one right here, and I'm seeing some questions, I'll answer them as well as we go along. But I want you to and just let me know in the chat box what you think, right? Because you know, a lot of you folks are here and I want to make sure uh, that uh, you all get as much value as possible here. Do you understand now what I'm trying to explain to you? Where if we go back here into the diagram that I did, if you want to get the leads, even if you can get 10% of the people to book an appointment or let's say uh, they're interested in a product, they're most of the time, most of the people who are making a decision are doing it in, in a sense of urgency, right? The, the best type of a buyer is the person who really needs a solution to a problem and they'll buy it right away. And you're providing that uh, right out of the gate. Does that make sense? So it's look at this. Um, here's the coupon and all that stuff it is giving you. So the idea is, and this is the bigger picture here. We're talking about how to build an entire business with AI. We want to get the fundamentals correct. Okay. Now let's talk about the other aspect of it, right? Every business is different and every business requires the ability for you to actually not just, okay, not just be able to generate leads is okay, but also understand the nuances and the issues that that business would actually face, right? So in the case of human bot, let's say it's a software tool. What are the main things? People come in, they might want to know if there are discounts, they want to know if there are any upsells or hidden fees or whatever. They want to know uh, basically, uh, for example, what are some features that would help them in their business? They'll ask those questions. If they get the answer, they'll make a purchase. Simple, right? There's no complicated setup there. It's not complicated. It's very straightforward, right? Similarly, when we look at every business out there, every business is different. So this is what we like to call this data training aspect comes into place. It's a very new concept. Uh, and the beauty is that if done right, it could be a game changer for a business because now it's no longer giving robotic responses, but it's actually solving real problems of those people because you're feeding it every single question, frequently asked questions that they faced in the past. Maybe there were call transcripts that that business had, but people were calling in, asking questions. They have their call transcripts. They can even get that data as well fed, for example, right? You can feed it audio. I'll get to that in just a second, how we do that uh, with transcriptions and all that stuff. I'm giving away some free tools, which uh, do that as a bonus and all that. But anyway, the point is, you can give this information in order to make it much smarter, right? So every time you give it more information, it'll get smarter and smarter. And every time it gets more information, it'll get smarter and smarter, right? Now, why is this important? This is important because, uh, and and again, this is, the most, this is what I always say, you got to follow the money. This is important because when you personalize it, people feel like they are cared for, okay? Let me repeat that again. People will buy from people who they feel cares about them and is listening to their issues. Like the last thing you want is you, let's say, for example, you want to uh, go yourself, right? Like, let's say, for example, you want to buy a product, right? You go into the store and the salesperson is helpful and the, the person is trying to answer your questions. It looks like they care about you. You'll buy, right? Similarly, you go in and another place and then that person is being cold they don't, have, they don't want to answer you. They don't even care about you. They don't even care. You're just a number to them. If that is the case, then you are more not likely to make that purchasing decision right away, right? You, you need some time. So, so the idea is this solves that issue, right? When we actually personalize it and feed it all the information that we've gotten, right? So for instance, what I've done, and, uh, I, and I'm, I'm doing that right now as well, is in the uh, HumanBot uh, application. And if you haven't gotten HumanBot, by the way, uh, I'll give the link uh, for it in just a second where we're doing it because 
the deal will be closing down very soon um, on it, where we're doing a lifetime deal with unlimited access and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, what I wanted to kind of show you here real quick uh, is uh, so you understand is that you can uh, basically train this with your data. OK, and here's the better part here. You can not just train it with your data and I'll show you that uh, right now. OK, so that you can uh, see it. OK. Um, and, um, you know, you, you can kind of learn from it and all that kind of good stuff. All right. So here you go. What I did is I created a campaign here and I trained that campaign here. Okay. So I've tra trained it with, uh, uh, this documentation, frequently asked questions, uh, transcripts and training and some other information like this. I trained it with that data, right? So then what happens is because of the data that I've trained here and you can add more URLs or, uh, files, you can actually give it more information to get smarter and smarter as time goes on. Now, here's where it gets very cool. In my case, what I did is I've, say, for example, for certain products of mine and for certain services that I offer, I've tried some. And by the way, I'm going to give that tool later on. I, I'm going to mention this is one of the tools. So here, uh, so it's like this. You see this? I've transcribed this information here and I'm feeding this transcribed text as well in here. So meaning everything I've ever said, everything that business owner has ever spoken, any video that they've created, right? That also can be used as documentation, okay? And and, and super easy to do, right? Like uh, it's just super awesome. So that means effectively, no matter what data that they have or what information they have or you have, that means effectively you can literally feed it into this document training tab here, okay? Does that make sense? So that means you can do it with speech to text, audio to text, you can even do it with video to text as well. And I, I, I did a complete tutorial on it as a bonus for this. So you understand all the free tools you can use and stuff like that. And eventually we'll plan to integrate this into human body as well. The point is that with this effectively, think of it like this, right? Let's look at it in a real life scenario. What, what are we really doing? We are basically giving perfect, okay, long term memory. So that means, what does that really mean? It means a business owner, let's say they always want to duplicate themselves, right? I wish, you know, I was also in the sales, like I was in the sales side of things where I can take the calls and close the customer to come in, visit my product or service or whatever, buy my product or service. Um, like a business owner, they would love to be able to chat with their people um, based on what is in their head here. It's like the, what we like to call tribal knowledge, right? What tribal knowledge really means is like you have all this stuff that you have in your head from experience, but you don't know how to pass it on to the next generation, right? Or in this case, to your employees or to your staff or to your customer support agents or sales agents or whatever. The point, the reason why we cannot do that is so difficult to channelize everything that we've ever spoken or channelize everything that we've ever written or channelize all the frequently asked questions that that person is going through, right? So the point is by this concept, when we do it, what happens? Well, you guessed it it will basically solve the issue of that, basically the AI to actually understand and be able to replicate things. So meaning, in other words, if we go back here, so real quick, I'll show you this. Um, we have this spokesperson. I mean, you can choose anybody really. I mean, these any one of these uh, human pals, male, female, whatever. Uh, I have all these folks here, right? In different ethnicities, different costumes or whatever. My point is that you can use any one of these folks and you can literally make these people have that knowledge passed on. Does that make sense? So that means if there's a sales question or a customer support question or a lead generation question or somebody really wants to buy a product, they have the last pressing question that they would love to get before they buy. Something like, is there a money back guarantee? Something as simple as like, uh, for example, how do I return my product? If it's a e-commerce or physical product, what is the return policy? What is the shipping time, right? So some basic stuff and people expect people will go to frequently asked questions. But what if the frequently asked question doesn't answer a question where they're in Wyoming or they're in like Europe or they're in Latin America or they're in some um, area where Amazon uh, doesn't ship to. So they're worried your product uh, might not ship to them as well because, hey, well, they don't have Amazon two day delivery in some rural areas, let's say. We've had that, by the way, happen to our e-commerce businesses. So by ha helping answer that question where in Wyoming, it takes three days to ship the product. So thank you for asking this question. Answers the question, they'll buy. Uh, on the other hand, if they're waiting for somebody calling and texting or whatever, you lost the sale, right? So this is how we have to think about 
every step of the way, right? Now, uh, another question, right? Uh, and this is a really, really good question. So Janet was asking, can this work with replicated websites? So I'm in network marketing, affiliate marketing, that's something 100%. So all you have to do, um, uh, Janet, you're going to the step number uh, five of the application here. In the document training, you see this URL, add URL button. Let me select it, add URL. You would select the original website, the product vendor website, right? If you're an affiliate or whatever, you want to put that website, the URL here. Maybe they have documentation. Maybe they have contact us information. Maybe they have uh, certain specifics of what the product does, features and stuff like that. You want to put it in that section there. Okay. Does that make sense? So this is this works for every business because of that too, right? By the way. Now, another uh, question is, right? And uh, uh, which is a really good question as well, is... Basically, if you wanted to use it in different industries, right? And I'm seeing this as well, right? Um, you want to make sure that you have specific in information that sorts the specific uh, goal. So this is what has worked really well for me. And I've done it so well is that you see this document training, right? So let's say I want to do this and I want to put this in the contact us page of a business, right? So it's only trained for basically people contacting you or people asking some customer support or shipping related question. You could even give a, a document here that is sales trained and you put this in, let's say, for example, your purchase area, right? Where somebody would go in, like once they've given their details, they go to the next page for confirmation. You could train that bot with sales questions. Alternatively, you can also do it where you can put it behind a paywall, right? So uh, you can create another bot. So meaning you could have three human bots, three separate campaigns doing three specific, very different, but very useful tasks. Like say, for example, you want to train the uh, bot to answer specific questions about a, a, a ebook you sold just now, or maybe you wanted to do uh, something about, let's say you're an author, coach, consultant about something that you have actually uh, produced in the past. Maybe it's a video course, maybe it's an audiobook, maybe it's an ebook. So now you can create a third human bot, right? Trained off of what's the stuff that is focused specifically on answering questions regarding that information. Does that make sense? So you can create multiple, you can create unlimited amount of them, obviously, but having separate ones will be more useful. This is where I was trying to say like quality is more important than quantity, right? You'd want to have the human bot have smart contacts, which already has. So for example, when I train it specifically on a paywall basis, let's say, right? So that means, uh, let's say, for example, it is a coach or consultant. Let's use that example, right? They've sold eBooks or digital products or whatever. So now how you could do this, simply speaking, in this scenario, is that you go in and then you train it with that information. Let's say it's about a product or whatever, ebook or course or whatever it might be. And then you give it that information. And now when you put that in, there is something called smart uh, context, okay? Now, what does smart context mean? Well, smart context means that once it knows, once the AI knows that this particular, you know, bot or human bot, right, is specifically for answering questions for somebody who already purchased a product and the questions they ask, the type of uh, responses that are needed to be is similar to that type of a uh, profile of a customer, it's automatically going to become smarter and learn that. Does that make sense? And this becomes very powerful in many cases because in many use cases, you don't want one generic person in all the pages, right? So you can embed this in all the pages. So how this works, and I'll explain to you because people are asking this in the chat box, how do I embed this? How do I create it? And that sort of thing. So all you have to do, right? You can uh, go in in any campaigns, like I have a campaign here. Uh, you get the get code here. You see this? You can embed this in any page or alternatively, if you don't have access to that website just yet, but you want to do a client demo, you can use this link here and it will automatically put a human bot on that page. Even if you didn't go to the back end and set it up, set up like the FTP and all that mumbo jumbo stuff. You go to a client and you want to show it, you can do that. Or in your own website, you want to know how it looks like a preview before you go into the back end and, uh, you know, embed this code, which works, by the way, with WordPress, with the... Uh, everything out there with WordPress, ClickFunnels, Kajabi, all those kind of systems, it works just fine, okay? Now, so let's go back into the discussion here, right? So now we saw the lead generation and the sales process here, right? Now let's talk about the last part about how we can get AI to basically solve our issue of growing a business, right? How to use AI to grow our business, uh, basically, right out of the gate. 
repeat buyers. We want to get somebody to buy from us again and again and again, right? And that's how you grow a business to the next level. So here's another thing. One of the secrets of repeat buyers, and I'm telling you this across hundreds of thousands of customers that we've served over the last decade plus, uh, hundreds of millions in sales that I've done. And also um, the other point being that when we've dealt with so many people and in different industries and customers and clients that I've mentored and coached and, and looked into their businesses, the secret is for repeat buyers, and I've seen this again and again and again, repeat buyers is about simply, does that person care about me? Care, right? People don't buy products just for the solution it can provide. People want to buy from people they feel care about them and are willing and able to be able to respond to them quickly, right? So hear me out, okay? This is the secret that nobody else, well, the few people who do it, uh, do it very, very successfully. So here's the secret. How you have to do this is that when you're looking at the flow, right? And I'll get back to the human bot application as well, which allows you to do this in a very grander way, right? So check this out. How we do this is if you go into any campaign, right? I mean, I just went into any campaign. I'll just go into this uh, campaign here. So you're in any campaign, you have these, um, you know, these flows, right? So you have these flows, so let's say appointment booking or uh, whatever flow it might be. So you go in here and then uh, you go into this and then let's say, and then you load it. I want to kind of show you this. So you could set up branches like this, right? Specifically surveying people and quizzing them, like uh, what you want them to go through, what, how you want to lead them. And just by doing that, right? Just by asking them some questions, which you would have asked anyway on the phone. Like imagine somebody called in, uh, let's say they called in to a real estate agent. The real estate agent is like, oh, are you looking to buy a home or are you looking to lease a home or rent a home, right? Are you looking to sell a home, right? Let me ask me, the, uh, you know, basically tell me this information and I'll give you the right answer and I'll be able to serve you better because then I'll know and I can personalize my responses based on that, right? Now, if that same real estate agent, you call them and you're like, oh, I'm interested in your services and they say, oh, great. Okay, uh, just, um, you know, I'm interested, just sign me up. You're like, mm, this guy, this gal is doesn't care about me because at the end of the day, first of all, they didn't ask me my name. Second of all, they didn't even uh, talk to me about what my real problems and what my fears are, right? What my real issues are. Why are they not personalizing and customizing the solution for me? This is the big one. Personalize, right? Uh, and customize it for every person, right? And this we cannot do as a human being. This is where AI can automate things for us, right? Because I can customize a solution based upon what people have told us, what people have really uh, given us, right? So this is basically how we go about doing this, okay? And this is how you need to structure things. And this is how you need to kind of take your business to the next level, specifically step by step doing this exact process that I'm showing you right now. Does that make sense? So... The idea here is the more personalized and the more customized the solution is, the more personalized and the more customized the solution is, the more likely it is that you will be having that feeling to that repeat buyers that they care, right? So this is the flow you'd want to do for that, okay? And again, I'm seeing some questions on this, so I will kind of uh, put this banner up for you folks. So uh, you can get uh, HumanBot, by the way, using that link, humanbot.io slash yes. That's a special link we're running. Uh, we're closing this deal down very soon. Uh, maybe it might even be gone when you watch this after this is live, okay? Uh, because we're running like a lifetime deal without uh, with unlimited campaigns, unlimited traffic you can send to the websites. You can put multiple campaigns in multiple websites. You can remove the branding, meaning you can put your own branding in there and stuff like that, right? But anyway, how you build a business, you get that. So now if I train the bot, yeah, that's great, smart. But if I ask the right questions, right, what day is suitable for you, right? You can expect a call from our member here, right? Um, you know, say what day is suitable for you, right? You can even put buttons here. You can put URLs here. You can, um, you know, basically uh, do keyword triggers. If they respond this way, tell them something, right? You could add, a, let's say, a video that they can watch about your business, right? You can even do an uh, appointment where you can they can pick from the calendar and link it with Google Spreadsheets or uh, something like Google Calendar, for example. You can do all kinds of cool things like that, right? Uh, but this is the secret. The secret is, you need to show people that you care. So let's summarize what we discussed because it's very important. First things first, right? You wanna go for the market to get traffic. It, 
quality of the traffic matters more than quantity. Just because you created some uh, video and it went viral and it got 500,000 visitors means nothing. I know people who got 100 million visitors have made, made nothing. They're broke because the audience that they're targeting probably are not people who are interested in what they're uh, selling them. And secondly, the audience that they're targeting is just saw it for fun and they don't have any interest. Urgency is more important, right? Secondly, once we've understood that, we get the affinity keywords. What we mean by that, and I gave you that free software, right? If you did not get access to that free software, let me know in the chat box. I can link it to you, which is uh, basically I, I gave away earlier on when you joined in, right? Now, uh, basically that, which is our uh, application, will give you the keywords and affinity. Like if somebody's searching for makeup, it gives you morning routine. Somebody's searching uh, for something, uh, let's say, obscure markets even, it'll give you the affinity keywords of what actually people who are interested are looking for, right? Um, uh, let's say something like, for example, you, it's much easier to target people who are interested to lose weight with salsa dancing or Zumba dancing or whatever, much cheaper than to target weight loss itself as the keyword because there's so much competition, right? And you may get more higher quality traffic too because if somebody is willing and able to actually go in and search for something where I'm actually willing to go somewhere to dance, learn how to dance or whatever, and actually go out of their comfort zone, they're more likely to buy from you, right? As opposed to somebody who's just randomly searching weight loss. That may be, what are they interested? Is it the definition of weight loss? Are they interested in weight loss for a friend? Are they interested in just uh, checking out? Like, they're just curious? You never know, right? So you want to do that. Target it. Secondly, we want to solve the lead problem, okay? This is the big one. People always tell me, if I'm a consultant coach or let's say agency or whatever, if you can just increase the profit margin by 15 to 20% for a business, right? If you just bump that up a little bit, they'll be more than happy to pay you a huge amount of money for it simply because that's the difference between them going under, like them not being successful and literally going bankrupt versus them being very prosperous. It's 15 to 25%, the needle. So to get that needle moving, all you have to do, and it's very basic, you can go to them and say, look, I'm going to give you 24-7 uh, customer support, CS, or I'm going to give you a 24-7 sales agent, okay? It's going to close sales for you. Or I'm going to give you a 24-7 uh, receptionist, right? A uh, receptionist who's going to book the appointments and all that. So that means if your 9 to 5 uh, receptionist works from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is not available, well, I'm going to give you this to make that possible so that that alone is going to boost your revenue by... A, Decent amount. I'm not talking doubling, tripling the business. I'm just saying if you can reach people in hours that you're a human being cannot be reached, that alone is enough of a structure that you can benefit a lot of businesses out there, right? So let me do a QA and a here because I want to do it as, as live and as uh, real as possible. And I'm going to show you how you can use this business uh, and how you can set up this AI system in your own business, in your own life and stuff like that. And I'm going to walk you through in the application. Nobody else does this because... At the end of the day, you need an application to work for you, right? So uh, Janet says she's already purchased. Appreciate you. And I'm, I'm going to be giving away some prizes as well today. I'm going to be giving away this uh, swag here, okay? Um, like hats and stuff like that for human bot. I'm going to ship that uh, out there. I think that's something that you folks would prefer because that's that's something that comes with love and care because it takes time to uh, do that. But I'll do that for three people today. I'm going to give you some swag and stuff like that uh, to make things fun. All right. Now, um, uh, so this is another one, right? Okay, good question. George was asking, thanks for your answer. It would make our life easier if you could have a collection of the flows where you can see all the flow, how it looks like. Good question. So here's how we do that. Actually, it's already in there, by the way. So you see this, this is a flow, right? So there's an entire flow. This is an appointment booking flow. Now, why do we even have a flow when the AI is so smart? Well, it's because sometimes you want to quiz your clients and put surveys in there so you can personalize their journey based upon that. That alone will show you that they you care about them. And it'll help the business too, right? So uh, if I'm booking an appointment for a real estate agent, I want to know if that person is buying a home or selling a home or is that person looking to rent a home. That alone will help me you know, prioritize them and look at and help them out in a more personalized manner, right? This flow is for that, right? You can adjust it. You can change it. Now, there's almost, I think, 100 of them or whatever. We have tons of them here, customer acquisition. Uh, we have conferences, app launches. This is for uh, our own applications we've done in the past and even for HumanBot, uh, appointment booking one, uh, you have customer feedback, customer support. Uh, and so if I did, let's say for example, customer feedback right here and click load, uh, here it goes through customer feedback. It asks you uh, questions. Now, there's also an option, by the way, at any point for you to move this over into a live chat too, by the way, okay? So 
person says, I want to speak to a human, you can move them over uh, to a human. Does that make sense? So this is the option. You do it with this. You see this live chat here. You put that, you drag and drop it into this add action here. And automatically now, once this person chooses this option, it's going to move on to the live chat. When they say, you can even use a trigger keyword. Like if they say live chat or speak to a real human or speak to a human, you can put those triggers. Automatically, if that happens, trigger it to open up a live chat uh, sequence and then goes through live chat. And we have a live chat system with unlimited agents. You can add, you can basically have and monitor the customer support team. Now, here's the beauty here. This is to simplify things for you, right, uh, George? So it, it simplifies things for you across the board, right? But you can do it on your own as well. You can add things, you can move things around, right? So you see this, like you can add uh, about something else like this here. Uh, you can add something below at any point. You can, you want to add anything below, you can do that like this. You see this? And this could be, for example, a URL, like, you could add a URL here uh, and you can say, get uh, this uh, some like special deal here. And then you can put a URL, like whatever website URL it is, right? So you could do that. So that's the idea. So um, basically hope that uh, answers your question. Now, the other uh, question here, right? Um, I wish I got a budget now, but rest assured, I'll surely get this. Yeah, we are offering a payment plan option on our page. So if you go into humanbot.io uh, slash yes, yes, you can also get an option to put uh, 77 bucks right now. It's going to go up, by the way, but 77 bucks today. Uh, that's, and then the, the payment plan spreads out over three months or so. Slightly more expensive, but you can do that option too. There is a $77 option on the page. And by then, I mean, it comes to a 30 day no question as money back guarantee. So at 77 bucks, give it a test drive, right? Um, now, Another uh, uh, good question is uh, beauty businesses. Please give the affinity uh, question uh, like, okay, good question. So this was the software that I gave as a bonus. Okay. So um, this is the video tag uh, finder. So if I, if you haven't already go to this uh, link, uh, software app.io slash video tag finder, I posted it in the chat box too, but in case um, it isn't, you go into that um, you know page. I'll again, post this by the way for you in the chat box. Uh, and you can check this out. And also, by the way, I'll just put up a banner for this one just so you folks can uh, watch it later on if you uh, wanted to. So this is the uh, link, okay? Okay, I'll actually remove the HTTPS, it's easier. Um, all right, so this is the link, okay? So let me show it. That's a software app.io slash video tag finder. You land on this page, there's nothing extra to buy. This is gonna give you the affinity uh, link to be able to kind of get the keywords for your videos and for your uh, basically projects and stuff like that. Even for businesses too, when you're consulting, the last thing you want is go to a competitive market and not able to deliver results for them, right? It's much better to just go in and go for industries that are much easier to handle, right? That's the first part. Now, uh, the other uh, question here that I'm seeing, and you can keep posting questions here, by the way, right? And um, I'm gonna talk about some bonuses that I created as well for HumanBot, but most of you, uh, you know, have already seen the HumanBot thing. And what I wanted to explain is, you can build an entire business out of it, okay? So imagine you go in, and this is what I was trying to explain earlier, is that if you went into any business, right? So let's say, for example, and and, and I've done it so many times over, right? So uh, let's see here. Okay, go here. All right, cool. So let's say we go into any business here, right? So we go into, let's see here, uh, dentist, New York City, right? Now check this out. There's so much competition right here you see all these people who are advertising here they're spending a ton of money in advertising right and if you notice one thing a lot of these people are struggling in order to get their rankings on google right they have to be really good at seo and all that stuff one of the secrets of seo ranking and somebody was asking me this question what is the fastest way to get ranked on top of google and the fastest way to get ranked on google is not backlinks it is not actually uh, quality of content. It's actually not, right? Fastest way of Google, uh, ranking Google is reducing your bounce rate. What does that mean? It means if I have 10 choices here, right? In the Google rankings, right? I have 10 choices here. What happens is that people have to pick a choice, right? How does Google know which one to pick? Because if it was just, oh, quality content, Google is a robot, right? How are they gonna know what is quality, what is not? So how they do, is that basically what they do is they track how long somebody is hanging out in a website, okay? So the question is how long, okay? Because the point is how long do that does that person uh, hang out in that website? So that means if this person clicked on it and they were in that website for 15 minutes or 10 minutes, five minutes, 
they will rank that website much higher because of the fact that now they feel that a person hanged around in that website for so long. So therefore, obviously, they found what they wanted and they were reading the whole thing rather than just clicking the back button right? and coming back to Google. Uh, this is the biggest metric. Now, let me put it up in a practical scenario here, right? So um, let's say, for example, right, uh, somebody went in to any website here, right? Let's go this particular website here, right? And you will see this, right? What if they came into this website here, right? And they're like, I'm, I'm just going to leave. 95% of the people leave within 10 seconds of landing on a website. So, and in that case, if you went into this business owner or any business, by the way, and you had a human bot here, right? They will navigate through that just for curiosity's sake. And that alone will bump up the top rankings on Google to get free traffic or any search engine. Because now what's happening is the person is chatting and getting their questions answered. For Google, for all intents and purposes, it looks like, wow, okay, this person is getting their solution, right? For their problem answered. Now, on the other hand, if somebody came in and they quickly went back, that, that tells Google, well, this person does, did not get what they were looking for. So this website is not solving the issue that they want, right? That's the thing, how long they do. With human bot, you can get people to hang around a lot longer than normal, right? That's a big thing for traffic generation and all that, right? Now, the other uh, question, okay, uh, which was a good question, uh, was what happens if a client does not pay? Like, I'll put it up. Like, I'll put it up in this uh, NYC or whatever dental website. I'll put it up. What if they don't pay? Right. What happens then? Because I'm charging them hundred dollars a month or five hundred dollars installation fee or whatever it might be. Uh, and I'm going to train you on this, by the way, step by step, how to do this and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, it's not an issue. But here's the thing. OK, my key goal here. OK, so you need to understand how to grow your brand, your business to the next level and all that. So the secret is you need to make sure that when you're actually planning things and you're actually growing things and you're actually setting things up, it is future proof, right? So here's how I've done it. Okay. And this is why we looked into it and future proofed human bot as well. So all you have to do, right. And even if like, you're embedded in this website and all that, right. You can go into human bot, you can go into any campaign here, right. You see this campaign here, this little switch here, you see this little switch here, right. Uh, basically this switch, you turn this one, this knob off, that effectively turns off this campaign. Does that make sense? Retract. And you can turn this on again, and it's going to turn on in that website. So the point is that if the client does not pay, you just turn it off in the dashboard and it's done. Similarly, all right, if the client does pay, you can activate it too. Similarly, right? you can keep it deactivated. And this is all done. And again, if a client says, look, we changed our uh, hours of operation, you know, like we changed our hour, uh, uh, basically hours of operation. Uh, can you add that information in? Well, you can go into any project, edit it. Of course, you can clone it too, but edit it. And then you can change any information. You want to change it from a male to a female. You want to change it to basically, um, for instance, uh, the voice of the person, language. You want to change some information. You want to change the flow. You want to change anything. You want to customize anything. The point is automatically, the minute I save this campaign, it will automatically update in the client's website or your own website or an e-commerce website and all that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? It's automatic and it is real time. Does that make sense? Real time, automatic. This is what makes it a game changer because in real time, you can show to a client, okay, look, you know, this is how I've done it. This is how it looks like. This is what I can do for you. Does that make sense? So uh, that's another one. All right. Now, the other uh, question is, right? Uh, uh, what would you charge for uh, changes, right? So this is the major thing you have to understand. And again, I've done, I'm, I'm actually doing um, in the next few days already uh, for our customers, six weeks workshop, right? I'm going to talk about that in just a second, by the way. I'm doing six weeks uh, of training specifically on stuff like this to answer questions like this. But I'll simplify this for you because it's a Q&A call, right? Uh, so what would you charge for changes? So basically what I do is very simple. I will do basically results-based setup, meaning first thing I'm going to say is, look, you put this, I'll put this up in your website for seven days and I'll prove to you that this is going to get more leads than you, you've gotten. Even if it generates one extra lead, it's worth it for you, right? For any business. A plastic surgeon is worth $10,000. For a lawyer, it might be worth $3,000. For, uh, let's say, a dentist could be worth $800, depending on the procedure, right, on average. So you're going to say, look, I'm just going to get one lead for you, test it out for seven days, see for yourself. After that, you can pay me a $500 retainer to set this whole thing up and make it customized with your data, with your information, your contact us pages, all this other stuff, right? 
frequently asked questions and stuff. And then if you want me to make changes, I'll bill you per hour, right? So we do changes per hour. This is more reasonable for a client because what they feel is that they're paying you for the actual cost, right? Uh, but for you, it might take you two minutes. They might be thinking it took you 10 hours, right? So uh, basically you can charge per hour of uh, implementation, right? And you can say, look, it's gonna take me five hours to set this up, understand your business and all that. I have to go back and change some campaign stuff and so on. And you can charge them on an hourly basis and you can give them a quote based on that. Or alternatively, this is also um, another thing that you could do is you can ch charge them per lead that you've generated extra. So in other words, somebody went into the, um, the, the uh, human bot and let's say generated 10 extra leads that week. I'm just making up um, some lowball number like 10. You could say, look, generate 10 leads, right? Pay me for every lead that you generate, right? And there is precedent to that, by the way, okay? A lot of people don't know this and I'll give you a secret on this, okay? Um, so let me, let me kind of uh, show you this, okay? So that uh, you understand. All right, so the precedent on that, um, and I kind of wanted to show you this, okay, wait, uh, like I can show you this. The precedent on that is people are spending a huge amount of money on this stuff for advertising on Google and uh, you know, Facebook and all this other stuff, right? So if you go in and you search for any keyword, right? Like for any business, a lot of the time people are spending a huge amount of money to generate that traffic and that lead, okay? So for example, you could go in, right? And there's tons of Chrome extensions and all that stuff that uh, do this kind of an approach. But anyway, I'll, I'll simplify this uh, for you so that you can see it. Um, let's see here, I'll put this up. All right, so, okay, there's this, this page here. Let's go in, let's go to Google, okay? Okay, so cool. So we go to Google and we say something like, um, give, like realist uh, buy a home in Atlanta, Georgia, let's say, right? And so basically, this is basically buying a home in Atlanta, Georgia, right? There are people spending, like these big companies are spending a ton of money. How's in Atlanta for sale, Atlanta, Georgia, let's say. Look at this. I didn't make this up. It's $2 per click that in Atlanta, right? Now, how's in Atlanta? Let's just put like, um, let's put it in uh, Miami, right? Um, this is a city, right? Um, let's put here Miami house for sale, right? Just a keyword like this one, $1.97 that they're spending, right? Um, so similarly, what I'm trying to say is that every single person who's advertising for these keywords are spending $2 a click and stuff. And it adds up. Like you go into a plastic surgeon. So let's say plastic surgeon uh, Miami, right? I'm just making up something here. Um, $5.99 for every click, right? Meaning this person right here, Miami plastic surgery, or anybody in the bottom here, you see these ads, uh, uh, sponsored listings here, they're all spending this kind of money. So now my question to you is, generally let's look at it in a real life scenario, right? I'll look at the numbers. So 1,300 people are searching for this every day. So 1,300 people, maybe this particular website just spending money on advertising is getting, say, I don't know, like 500 people per day, right? From this 1,300. Not everybody's searching for this keyword, so the keyword might be even more. But anyway, let's say 500, right? Generally speaking, these kind of uh, keywords get about 20% of the people to sign up or book an appointment from when they land, okay? So that means 100 people uh, out of this 500 actually even bothered contacting, or it's actually even less than that, but generally it's... Um, Basically, we'll say the highest level, it's 100, uh, 100, 120%, right? So that means in order to get this 100, let's say it's $6, right? They've spent $6 times 500, okay? Right? That is $3,000 that they've spent even without them getting a single person to commit to anything, or, uh, uh, subscribing or getting a booking an appointment and all that stuff, right? And this is the reason why if you can bump this number up, generally speaking, this is 5% to 20%. You can bump this number by just a little bit even. They're willing to pay money because otherwise, right, per lead, let's look at the per lead cost. In this case, the best case scenario I'm talking about is $30 per lead that they're spending. And that's the best case scenario. I've heard scenarios for plastic surgeon, they're spending $300 per uh, lead, right? It's actually more than that. But even in the best case scenario, they're spending $30 a lead if everything works and everything is in their favor, which is not the case. So my point is, if you can show them that by putting a human bot on their website, you can they can get 10 extra leads, right? That they wouldn't have gotten. 
that is worth something for them, right? That's worth in the lowest of low case, $300, in the highest of high, $3,000, right? So it's actually quantifiable results that they can see for themselves, right? So this is how you have to structure it, okay? To answer your question, how would we charge for changes? You'd want to structure it this way, okay? Hope that answered your question. All right, now, now another question, right? Um, uh, which, which is a um, uh, really good question as well is, uh, uh, can you add the option for human bar bubble to wiggle in the bottom right corner to bring attention to it? Yes, we are actually adding this one, Keith. Uh, so the answer was like, it wiggles and changes. Yeah, we're gonna, it's in our um, checklist of things to do. The thing is that we wanna make sure that's mobile compatible as well. So that's why um, uh, we are putting it in. It should already be available though, okay? I just spoke to my team about this and they were saying it's available. They just texted me actually. So you should probably be able to see it because we put, did do that for our human bot um, pages as well and we tested it. So just ask our support team, I'll be happy to assist you there, right? Now, um, uh, uh, let's let's look at this here, okay? Uh, what is the general cost to put for a human bot service? So uh, I would say always go in the approach of, I'll put it up for one week for free. If it's gotten you at least one extra lead, pay me $500 to set it up one time. And then after that $500, you can say if you want modifications, you want to feed it more data, you want us to basically customize it more, then pay us uh, a monthly fee, right? That's how we do it. It's much easier to commit to a one-time payment because this plastic surgeon, just think of it, right? Like if I save them $500 in advertising, they'll happily pay you $500 to test drive it because they could quantifiably see the results you could generate, right? So we want to do that. If you said, okay, pay me $500 a month, not as likely that they'll pay. Similarly, if this plastic surgeon, for example, or whoever, it doesn't matter, but if uh, they have, um, let's say, for example, they're paying $5,000 a month, right? If they're saying uh, $5,000 a month for a secretary or receptionist or sales customer support person, whatever, right? At the end of the day, you could say you can add on one extra person who's an AI uh, person, right? AI human bot into your page, and you don't have to pay $5,000. You pay 10% of that or even less, right? And I'll, you can test drive it and you can save that money because now the human body is available on weekends and all that. Now you might be saying, oh, that sounds expensive. Well, well, is that so? Let, let's, let's look at it here. So if you go into something like Intercom, right? He's one of the top uh, live chat um, uh, live chat systems, right? Well, if you go in here, their starting price, right? Uh, which does not even have a team inbox, which is where you have multiple support agents. It's it's you can calculate the price here. It starts at like 150 bucks a month or so, right? The starting is 74 dollars a month without with very basic features, right? And so at the end of the day, even if this business wanted to, whatever business put up like a basic live chat, I'm not even talking about AI or any of that stuff. It'll cost them 75 bucks a month to start off with. You can even go into uh something like zendesk live chat right which is one of the popular ones out there they bundle these things in um and then i don't even know how much it costs like and you just see this zendesk pays 50 dollars to generate leads isn't that interesting so it is a very competitive market and a lot of people are interested in that i guess right so um live chat right pricing let's just put this okay cool let's just go in here i'll remove annual put monthly okay per agent per month you see that so $295 for five agents. So meaning five people that they're working for, live agents. Uh, let's say I only want one. Okay, there you go, right? $59, right? And then um, you want more, you want 99 for the growth plan and all that. This is just for live chat. I'm not talking about uh, learning from the data, learning from uh, your own set of uh, information. I'm not talking about any of that stuff, right? It's basic live chat which has pre-existing flows, right? Like in this case, let's look at it here. What the flow here that they have is ask a question. If I click on ask a question, it's a flow, right? It goes to a different flow. Uh, here it says co uh, connect to sales, it goes to a different flow, right? Uh, report an issue, it goes to a different flow. Uh, learn about Zendesk, it goes to a different flow, right? And that's the only thing. It doesn't have any AI, smart AI context, feeding it information, customer support uh, documents, frequently asked questions. It doesn't have any of that stuff, right? So a business which owns this uh, and actually does this, there's insane amount of actual uh, business you can go after, right? And there are tons of tools which uh, where you can find people using these tools and you can obviously say, if you're spending this much money with this, why don't you, um, you know, use our technology, right? And then you can go uh, that way. So like there are platforms like that. And this is what I teach in my six weeks training I'm doing for free for you uh, folks. If you get Jimba today here on that link below, 
But if you're going to build with, right? And if you type in something like Zendesk, right? It's going to show us all the websites that are using Zendesk, right? And uh, and how much they're spending money to. Like if you see this get custom data, there's 4,400 in Canada alone. And then if you click on these, these are the businesses that are spending. In this case, this one's spending $530,000 uh, a month um, in, in uh, sorry, it's $2,000 a month, $530,000 in revenue that's making plus that they just kind of uh, are guessing here, right? And then it also has traffic stats and all that, right? But my point is these businesses are using Zendesk, so they're paying hundreds or even thousands of dollars, right? You can do the same thing with uh, Intercom. You can go after all these businesses using Intercom as their um, you know live chat system. Uh, similarly, you click on it, and then you'll see the same thing. These are all the businesses using it, and uh, big, small, and all that, right? So you can do this for free as well. The point I'm trying to make is, if you have a valuable service that you're providing that's quantifiably going to get results for a business, and you do it risk-free, or I'll do it for free for seven days, see for yourself if it's going to get results. If it does, great. If it doesn't, no problem. It's no commitment on your part, right? Every business will say yes to that. And then you can enable, disable that after seven days, depending on if they pay you or don't pay you, right? Zero risk, right? Hope that makes sense. So those who just join in, though, uh, get our human bot, uh, bot technology at humanbot.io. I left the link in the bottom there, right? Uh, so you can get it right now. The reason why I'm doing this live chat, and I, I want you guys, gals here to succeed, right? The reason why I'm doing this is so you understand that I want to go out of my way to ensure that you succeed with human bot, right? That's why I'm doing all these stuff because nobody trains you because I know this product inside and out. I've gone in deep and I know exactly where uh, you can use what features you need to do. And if you like this type of a training, you'll enjoy my bonuses, uh, which I'm gonna get to in just a second when I'm giving away, where I walk you through, I do six weeks of live training on this beyond the tutorials, by the way. So let me let me explain. So if you go into human bot here, Right. You can go into tutorial section here. We have a whole bunch of tutorials like video tutorials on getting started and, um, you know, creating campaigns and all that. I go beyond that. Right. I'm going to show you how to get clients with it. What is the pricing? Uh, what are the low hanging fruit? If that is an agency or consultant, you want to do it. If you're an affiliate marketer, there's a different approach. Right. Affiliate marketing is all about lead generation as a as a middle ground. So that means effectively in the human bot, how you would do it. Just simple. Right. If you want to do an affiliate marketing campaign. Right. You can go in and you can reuse any of these components here, right? Uh, you see this, uh, we have some of these ready to go uh, systems. How you do is look at this sell software, let's say, right? Or sell training course. Let's just put this one for the time being. So here, okay, welcome to our training portal, okay? Your uh, minutes away, your name and all that. So this is a URL. What you would do here is you could add for affiliate marketing in particular, a plus button. And you can say something like, um, uh, would you like to subscribe to our mailing list so I can send you more information about this product? Uh, enter your email below, right? And what we can do is through automation, we can have every time they uh, uh, insert their email, right? And we have training on this too, by the way. I'm just going to show you the basics. So you have an email, right? Somebody posted an email. Then what, what you do is you take that email, automatically you can add it into like a sp Google spreadsheet and all that stuff, right? And then, or you can automatically add it into any autoresponder service like MailChimp or anything you can imagine, right? And then basically you can automate the process of sending them emails, right? So basically you can do autoresponder emails, sequence emails, trigger emails, all this kind of stuff. And then... The other thing that you could do is when you have this information, right? And this is the biggest mistake affiliate marketers do. I'm the number one affiliate marketer in many industries out there. And, uh, you know, a lot of people come to me to, you know, be an affiliate for their product across different industries. And so the difference between me and other people and the difference between super affiliates and other people is super affiliates, they will get the list. They will build their own list. So meaning list of customers, right? Instead of you saying, okay, this is an interesting product. Click on this button and go to that product and buy. They'll say, join my email list. I'm going to give you something for free. Uh, I'm going to give you this free book, free thing, free gift. And then once they opt into the list, then they send them to the other product. Because when, they, when you build an email list, you build an asset, right? So you can do that. You can create a flow. Uh, based upon the email uh, system. So every time an email is uh, published, it automatically sends them an email, okay? I'll show you how this works in just a second in more detail, uh, but this should give you some ideas, okay? Now, um, 
Uh, now, uh, will there be training on how it can be used for network marketing? So affiliate marketing and network marketing are very similar in a, in a nutshell. The reason is that you are trying to sell somebody else's product, right? So I'll be focusing on affiliate marketing because I'm one of the top affiliate marketers, if not the number one in the industry. So if you learn from that, you can apply it in any other business as well. Okay. Uh, now, another question um, uh, is that uh, Jeremy was, I mean, the suburbs of New York. Okay. This is the good thing. See, you're watching this in, in a train. That's technology for you, right? And if you can chat with a bot, in human bot, that's even better, right? Now, another uh, uh, question Christopher was saying is, I already have brought it. I'm trying to find the training. Perfect. Go to tutorials. Okay. And also, one other thing I've added for you, Christopher, okay? So uh, if you go into um, the human bot application right now, okay, we added this just a couple of hours ago, um, you will see this tab, uh, Christopher, called Get Your Human Bot Bonuses, okay? I'll talk about the bonus in just a second. Uh, but you click on this link, we activate it into your account. You click on this link, you'll get access to the bonuses, one of them being registering into our live uh, six weeks workshops that are coming up where you can ask questions like this and we can work together and I'll be answering questions, show you some case studies and stuff like that and also some other uh, cool things that uh, I have for you, okay? Now, um, another uh, question that came in, um, uh, which is this will put my new company on the map for sure, absolutely. Think of it like this, right? It's all about simplicity, right? It's very simple, Your business is very simple. The more simple you make it, the more money you're gonna make. For example, if you agree with me that if a business or your business for that matter can have a 24 seven uh, salesperson or 24 seven customer support person or a 24 seven appointment booking lead generation person, right? If you agree with me that having this alone will get you an extra 10% boost, it's more than that obviously, but let's assume, right? Then mathematically it's impossible for you not to get some type of a result right here because think of it this way. Uh, and, uh, and I've tested this across the board in different industries and all that. What we found out is that, you know, no matter how much we try to hire people, right? Most people are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., right? No matter how much, like we could be the richest company in the world. We can, there'll always be these uh, blackout periods, right? Like there's these periods where people are not basically available. So what we do is in these from 6 p.m. to let's say 8 a.m., I'm just making up a number, but if you can get an AI person to be there, that alone will add an extra lead generation stream, extra revenue stream and other things as well. You get my point? So this is how we want to uh, utilize this. This is how we want to grow our business and our brand. Now, another question that came in uh, similar to this is, can I feed this video, audio and all that in terms of information? So let me talk about that, okay? Um, I'll just put my campaign here. So, because so many campaigns, right? Because uh, you can build unlimited campaigns with human bot. So, what we do is, uh, by the way, we can we can we have emotional voices too here. That was one of the bonuses. If you put any thing here, you'll see this, right? Uh, uh, emotions you can add. So you can be happy, excited, sad, and that sort of thing, right? So if you go in here, what I wanted to show you here is that you can change the color theme and all that, and it'll retroactively change, as you can see to the right. Uh, but what I kind of wanted to show you is, and this is something this is pretty cool. So what you can do is when you go to the data uh, part here, right? Right now they're documents, right? So generally speaking, an AI, this is what I wanted to explain to you. AI right now is really, really, really good with text, okay? But it's not very good with vision. Meaning if you give it a video and say, understand what this video does, it doesn't understand it. It's gonna get there probably in the future. Similarly, even with audio, with inflections and stuff, it's not that good with understanding the context of something with audio. However, you can transcribe that video or audio, and I'm giving the free software, right, which can do that, right? And uh, I've actually included that in that, um, you know, that bonus that I was trying to tell you, I'll get to that in just a second. But you can literally, right, transcribe those, any video, audio, or whatever, and then basically upload the doc again. PDF format, doc, whatever it is, right? Uh, and also, you, know, you can even put a URL. Let's say you have a PDF URL or you have a HTML URL or whatever it might be, you can put that in here as well. Now, why is this important? It's because then literally you can make it useful for every industry, every use case, right? Um, and this is what I did, right? Like if you check it, check out uh, like uh, the training I've done and all that. So 
uh, in a nutshell, let me let me walk you through some bonuses that I had for a human. But I'll answer some questions too, because these will answer your questions as well, because I want to make it as interactive as possible here. And again, if you haven't gotten it, go to humanbot.io slash yes. All right. So what I wanted to kind of show you here um, is, of course, first of all, you can get um, like human bot here in this link, humanbot.io slash yes, right? Of course, <laughs> right? So you can get that um, here, okay? That's the first thing. You get it here. Uh, human body slash yes. Another thing that I'm doing for you folks, and again, I'll, let me check your comments here because I want to be able to answer your questions as well. Is you go in here, and this includes all the upgrades, meaning all everything is included. There's no hidden fees, no upsells, no downsells, and any of that stuff. And you get two options, which we're going to be removing in the next, like really, really soon. Uh, I can't tell you because if I say next few hours, and then it by the time you watch this later on and it's sold, I cannot be responsible for it. It'll be gone without notice at any minute, okay? Uh, we've done that in the past too. So you can get one in inbox, no upsells, no downsells, no cross sells, everything included. Uh, and in fact, I'm also going to be including um, all the AI stuff behind the scenes for you. So I mean, you don't have to pay any extra money on any hidden fees like open AI, key fees, or any API fees, or all that mumbo jumbo stuff. Everything is included. And the other option is you can also get the $77 option where you it's a split pay option. Uh, it comes to a 30 day no question and bank guarantee anyways, right? Both of them. If that's something you want to get, because by then you should be getting results, especially with my training, right? Now, uh, you uh, basically can use the PayPal credit option, obviously, if you're in the United States or the United Kingdom. If you used it in the past, definitely check out with PayPal as an option and you should be good to go. Uh, now, uh, one important thing I want to talk about in terms of the PayPal credit option itself, uh, this is something I want a lot of people always ask me. Uh, this question is that, can I use it if I'm the US or UK? If you've used it in the past, you can use it here too. Okay, simple. Uh, it will basically appear as an option once you check out um, saying you want to use your credit card and file or you want to use uh, bank balance or you want to use PayPal credit. It means six months, no payments, no interest in the U United States. And in the UK, United Kingdom, it is uh, for four full months. So if you're in from these two places, definitely give it a shot. Uh, it only works for purchases about $99. So it's going to work for that $199 option, OK? Uh, now, uh, the bonuses I told you, right? The six weeks step-by-step uh, -step human mod success training workshops. There'll be nothing for sale here. It's all free content, great content. It'll answer the points I was trying to tell you. I've noted down. I'm in the, I'm doing these live streams for this exact reason, is because a lot of our customers are coming in here, right, like you folks. Um, like today we were discussing this, right? You were saying network marketing, right? Uh, it's very similar to affiliate marketing, right? Uh, which is basically you're promoting other people's products, right? Um, and getting a commission for the sale. Well, one week of this six week is focused on that because imagine I'm the number one affiliate in many verticals. Last year, I made, I think, 3.5 or $4 million in uh, actual affiliate sales, meaning not my product, other people's products, right? Um, and I'm the number one affiliate for some verticals in platforms like ClickBank and other platforms out there. The reason why I became the number one affiliate is because an affiliate model is slightly different, right? Actually, quite different from selling your own product. There's an approach that is different, right? And the nuances, the flow, the system is different. Um, in the case of a product, right? Let's say, for example, this is a product, right, that you're trying to sell. And this is your product, right? Think of it this way. This is your product. You're trying to sell it. Here, you get this person to come in. They could have many avenues to buy from, right? If it's your own product, like they can come in, they can they can see on social media, they buy it. Like say, for example, they land on a page and then they saw there was like, um, you know, for example, a social media link, they went to Instagram, then they checked it out after a week, came back from Instagram and bought it. Sometimes what happens is like uh, somebody is interested, they want to check out any reviews for that product and then they go to a review thing and then after a, a, like a week or something, they buy it. Sometimes what happens is they'll check it in their mobile phone Right. And then I'll go and order there with an affiliate. You don't have these many options. You have one shot most of the time to make that sale. Right. So because of that, we in, in the affiliate space, what we do is we like to call uh, something called a bridge page. A bridge page is basically somebody lands like this. Right. And this is perfect for a human mind as well. Somebody comes in, you instead of building it to the actual page, you're going to build a page with the human bot uh, here. Right. And you're going to collect leads. You're going to, you know, get their information, survey the customers, what are their interests and stuff like that to prioritize people, right? If you're doing any kind of email marketing or sales, you want to sort them out and personalize their email. After they filled in stuff here, that is when you're going to send it to the original offer, okay? This is the secret strategy that is, works really well for affiliate marketing. 
if you do, if you are your own product you don't have to do this now the difference between successful people and not so successful people in affiliate marketing or wherever is this page they don't properly take care of they feel that they're not good at web page design they feel like um they're not good at interacting with people they feel like this person right here will do a better job selling than them which is a false thing okay you I, I've had scenarios, okay? This is a fact, okay? People want to know the inside scoop. I've had scenarios where with this page here, like with this page here, I made more in revenue than this entire original offer made, okay? Like say, for example, I made 500,000 in sales or 400,000 in sales. The actual offer didn't even make that combined. So meaning I made more money than the actual vendor did in full sales, right? That is the importance of understanding the power of this strategy. Okay, I'm going to teach that. I'm going to teach you that because I'm the number one affiliate in many verticals, right? That is different from your own product, though. So now, if it is your own product, let's talk about that. that's an, another week that uh, uh, the training will focus on. If it's your own product, it's a different structure. If it's your own product, you want to create different touch points and you want to make the sale happen uh, as well as quickly as possible. So similarly, let, like let's say this is the same person. Right now, they come into your website or your page or your product page or let's say whatever your coaching program or your membership site program or whatever you're selling, right? Your author or whatever. So this is your page, right? Now here, what you need to do is you need to get different touch points. So let's say you have a human bot here. This is where you want to collect their phone number to text message them, create a text messaging campaign, which you can do with human bot, by the way. Uh, you can then do email campaign. Right. You can do where you can book an, a, a Zoom call with them, right, to do like a demo of the product, what you're doing or something like that. Um, you can basically then put them in to get their LinkedIn or social media profiles. Right. And then communicate with them. So it's all about touch points. Right. So you want to get them everywhere you can get. It's basically you everywhere, so to speak. We want to be everywhere. That will be the secret to get more results. And you can set up a campaign with HumanBot to do so if it is your own product. Very different. You see, it's a very different approach. Both of them sound similar, but they're not completely different, right? Now, let's say, for example, if uh, you're doing it as an agency or consultant, let's say you want to build it for other businesses, right? Uh, let's say you, you don't want to go through the effort of putting up your own product, your service or whatever, um, and you want to work with other businesses. Now, let's look at the other businesses, right? In other businesses scenario, it's quite different. They already have a bunch of people. So they have all these people uh, that they are spending money on or they have uh, people searching for them or whatever, right? A lot of businesses out there. Uh, they already have these people here, right? And what the difference is, is that they are looking for improvement without uh, extra cost of labor or hiring more people and training more people. Time is the biggest problem they have. So you have a business owner, like they have a website or a whatever, a landing page or whatever it is. So they have here, what they want to do is get these people with the lowest friction possible to book more appointments for them, sign up and all that, right? Now in that scenario, let's look at it. I've shown the examples earlier on today, but in this particular scenario, you are a completely different person than the customer, okay? So this is a mistake people make. People think they're one of these people in the eyes of this business owner here who has a language. No, 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 no. You are somewhere completely separate and let's say the business owner is uh, somewhere, I'm, I'm the worst uh, artist, sketch artist here, right? Uh, in a live stream, you're asking me to draw folks. Okay, anyways. Okay, so so now this is the business owner, right? So they are interacting with you as a separate mechanism to the other people, right? So the point is, if this is you, basically, you need to make it as risk-free of a deal as possible, okay? Um, meaning you got to save, I'll give you seven days to test drive it. Seven days free, right? And let them try it out, right? What is the risk here? Because what they're thinking is I have so many other things to deal with. I don't want to think about negotiating with this guy or gal. I don't have the time. So they will directly go in because of this. Does that make sense? So think of it this way. So every business, every strategy has a different approach. That's why I structured it for six weeks because one week we'll focus on the other and build upon it, right? Um, now, the other bonus is human bot voice chat. So this is basically where uh, our developers are um, going to get this sorted. Next couple of days, we're going to put this up. Number one requested feature by a lot of you folks who are going to do it. So how this works, you have a um, bot, right? Like I'm just going to show human bot page because I want to show we drink our own Kool-Aid. So let's just say uh, some. And by the way, I think Keith was asking that question. Can we put the human bot to load up here or that bubble uh, bigling thing? Yeah, we can do that. All right. Anyway. 
So here, what I wanted to kind of show you is when a person is coming in here, they're chatting, right? Everything is chat. So we click on um, the, the chat to be able to ask questions and stuff like that here. And this uh, human body is uh, you know, talking and stuff like that. What we are going to do is we're going to create, uh, and we're working on it, should be done in the next couple of days or so, or just about there. Um, here, we're going to put like a microphone. So we just want to test it with our beta sisters before we release this feature. It's already done, but I'll test it in different languages. So you can talk to it like you can do with Apple uh, Siri or whatever, right? You talk to the um, uh, you know human bot in the mobile device or even in a desktop basis, and then automatically it's going to transcribe it into text and human bot will talk with speaking. So uh, this is one of the bigger features. So you're going to get that for free, okay? No need to pay extra money. And the transcription, all that stuff, I'm paying for it. You don't have to worry about it, no, not, nothing extra to buy. I'm not going to say go pay this extra money to Microsoft or Amazon or whoever it is to do all that work, right? No, not needed. Uh, I'm going to pay for that cost, okay? So that's going to make it a little bit more easier for you, clients, and everybody else, right? Obviously. Um, now, um, the other uh, point is, right? Uh, which, which I'm going to open up this point here is emotional voices. I told you, right, we have those integrated in. So you could have majority of the voices that we have in English and some of the languages like that, uh, popular languages. They have sad, happy, excited and stuff. So, for example, um, the, the idea is, and I've done this in the past as well, where if you think about it, right, like imagine this. Uh, it's a funny thing here, by the way. I've, I've, uh, I'll show you this actually, uh, where... You open up any campaign where you go into the product and you go into the software or whatever um and you go in here go in here right um you go in and like anywhere right literally uh you can then basically choose anybody and you see this right here you have this aria emotion jenny emotion so if you say aria check this out aria has general she has a chat type of uh uh, emotion when she's speaking, customer service style, right? More patient, talking slowly, stuff like that. Uh, then we have uh, a narration, like so, right? We have newscast. You have this different emotion. So this is already integrated in. So you're going to get that instant access to this one. Uh, this is also a very requested feature. So we wanted to give you this uh, right here. And you can use it for unlimited campaigns too, by the way. And it works perfectly uh, fine and uh, depending on uh, what emotions you want. Right. And um, uh, this one is kind of coming up next week. So what we did right now is uh, basically in human bot, what we and actually people have posted in our uh, Facebook group as well, this stuff, which was awesome to see because I just did it like live and then people went crazy and started posting this stuff. And it's so exciting to see uh, is that you can literally use this same approach to actually render videos, too. OK, so you can create campaigns that will actually render out. Uh, a green screen version of it. So actually, yeah, let me show you this example. So this was one of our folks in our Facebook group. This is why it's good to be in our Facebook group. So he actually rendered out the green screen version of our uh, this human spokesperson from a human bot itself in green screen. So you can uh, generate this right on the gate with perfect lip sync and all that from human bot. You don't have to use any external application to make this happen. But a lot of our human pal customers who also purchase other flagship product, human pal, uh, they wanted it in the human pal application. So this um, was the human pal application. So let me just log in here. So we're going to do that for folks who buy both products uh, first as a priority. I mentioned this before so that uh, these are very expensive to do. But what we're going to do is for those who have both products, you have human pal and you have human bot. As a priority, we're going to add this in the next uh, few days. Our developers are working on it. We're doing some beta testing. Uh, uh, where it, when you choose any template, let's say you choose any template here and you come into this page in uh, human pal, we'll add those um, next generation um, human, uh, uh, human spokespersons, AI human spokespersons here as well. Uh, I just want to warn you, though, on this one, we're going to remove this option completely after this goes live because <laughs> the costs are ridiculously high for this one, the service we need, AI service and stuff like that. Right now, I'm just I'm just paying whatever I, I, I can to for these things. So uh, the, the amount I'm paying right now for these is ridiculously high, but I want to give you a thing and select group of people in our live streams uh, I'm doing this as a special bonus. I'm not going to be giving this to everybody simply because it's not sustainable. That's why I'm only announcing in our webinars. Nowhere did in our sales page I mention this. Nowhere else did we mention it for publicly. Only people are coming in in our webinars can see it. Why? Well, it's like this. You go in here. 
Uh, this is our bill right now. Uh, last month was 27749 This month, we're going to be 28547 on just Amazon alone. Uh, in our Google, it's about 12000 bucks or so. So $40,000 plus thousand dollars a month we're spending. And that's only right now with a small amount of people. Uh, the reason why this is the case, just so you understand, is uh, uh, I explained this earlier, but in case you didn't see it, right, you got to know the behind the scenes scoop, right? Um, so what we need to make these things work is uh, something called um, like a P4D instance, right, on Amazon. Uh, what these are is basically next generation artificial intelligence servers by NVIDIA. Uh, these things are not cheap. So uh, if you go in here, uh, this one right here, it's $40 an hour. So even with 62% discount, okay, this they don't offer uh, at all, by the way, this is like like one of those gimmicks where you, like you go in there and you'll see like, okay, it's only available if you do midnight to morning or whatever. Uh, even with 62% discount, it's $11,405, right? We need like multiple servers like this, not just one, because uh, this uses this NVIDIA A100 server, which is next generation AI servers. So I'm going to be putting all your projects in this one in human palette for the time being until we figure out a way to optimize this thing. And then after that, we can probably give it to other users and stuff. So I don't know how long that's going to take. And there's a waiting list as well for these servers. So I have to kind of negotiate and all that. I already have a few that we negotiated with Amazon and Google to give us these and NVIDIA as well. Uh, but right now, Elon Musk bought 10,000 of these, you know, uh, Mark Zuckerberg got 15,000 of these, right? And they have to wait for eight months right now to get these, it's not cheap. Uh, so, and they're in demand right now because AI is hot and everybody wants to build their own chat GPT or whatever, even though chat GPT is not the future, the future is task automation, right? All right. So, uh, this is the reason why I want to be clear. So you understand, all right. Uh, next thing I want to kind of talk about here is a pre-trained industry specific human bot. So I had a couple of questions come in on this, right? Which was, you know, does it work for me? I'm a teacher. Does it work for me, uh, for, uh, let's say affiliate marketing or does it work for me in uh, let's say e-commerce or not we have a lot of these human bots created but maybe i didn't account for your business so we're gonna have um you know i'm gonna give you a form right and basically you fill that form say i'm, I'm interested in this and then based upon the priority of requests and how many people are interested in what right and we're gonna include those similar to our roadmap of course is in addition to roadmap because in when we have a roadmap which i'm gonna be announcing in our uh, weekly um training that six weeks training generally when i say this is the feature request and all that this is specifically beyond the roadmap meaning we have a separate person creating these things beyond our um you know our staff and all that okay so that's the other one now uh, this was highly requested so uh i'm going to give you this uh, beta version of the uh, speech to text transcription application as well this does uh let's say for example uh audio um to text right so audio to text to feed the data, to train the data uh, in human bot. But I also, and this is instant access, by the way, you have access to it now. Okay. You get it today. It'll be in your human bot account. Okay. I'll show you where it's located, by the way. Uh, you can do video to text as well. I'll show you how to do that with free software. Uh, you get beta access to later on. My plan is to integrate this directly into human bot as well. It's part of our roadmap. Uh, the only issue is, you know, we get customers from so many different countries. We, we rolled it out. Somebody says it's not working for um, like Italian or it's not working for Hindi or whatever. And we have to account for all that. So that's why I want to give myself some time for it, make sure that it works for all languages. You know, like Arabic, for example, is right to left language. So the text to speech is quite, quite different on a right to left basis, stuff like that. But, you know, you can use this beta application, download it in your computer. It works on a Mac and a PC and you can use it. It's two applications you're going to get. One does video uh, to text and one does audio to text. Okay. Um, and I've done the training is ready to go. You can get access to it right away. You're going to human bot, uh, login. And if you already bought human bot, uh, bot app, by the way, folks, um, for those who already have it, just go into your human bot account and then you scroll down this is my welcome video, right? You scroll down and then you're going to see it right here. Okay. You see that, uh, human bot, get your, uh, human bot bonuses. So that's where you're going to be able to see that instant access. You can even take a full refund and still keep these bonuses for free just for trying it out. All right. Uh, so again, um, that's the link, uh, that you see here, right? So human bot io slash yes. Now this is a Q and a webinar. So I'm going to be here for a bit to answer some questions. Some folks are having, uh, and I'll be as clear as possible in terms of those questions, because I want to make sure I jump into the application and show you. Because the last thing you want is somebody just regurgitating a PowerPoint presentation. Kind of gets boring. Uh, and I don't like doing that too personally. Okay. All right. So 
Uh, let me see your questions here, actually, while I open this up. So many times. Oh, by the way, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, uh, we have 42,300. And this is the thing. Rajat, right, one of our uh, great customers, he created this, right? We just basically one tutorial we did. I just mentioned this. He created this green screen version. He rendered it out from HumanBot, okay? Perfect, right? And this is what I'm talking about. So now a lot of people said, how did you create it? How did you create it? And look at this. Like, how did you create it? He actually created like basically uh, simple instructions for people to copy. This is what I mean by our community, right? People are doing things for their applications that uh, before I even get a chance to do the training on, other people are helping everybody out, right? And that's why every day I'm announcing $100 winners for our, uh, our, our product uh, in our Facebook group. Like if you go into a Facebook group and you just type in, uh, congrats, right? Let's see here. Check this out. Uh, eight hours ago, Jose here won $100. Um, just, uh, you know, here a few hours before that, uh, we got Gaston during he won. Uh, then we have uh, Teresa Iwers winning $100, right? Uh, Elizabeth won. And this is people I'm posting. The other people, I, di I didn't get a chance to get the time to post from other stuff. This is from live streams, like what I'm showing you right now. Uh, people winning, right? Now, uh, so let, let me let me uh, pop up uh, this thing so that you can see. It. So again, to summarize today's call, we talked about a lot of things here today, right? Uh, so to summarize this call, uh, and I'm going to be answering your questions as well as we go along. One important thing is imagine having a human bot like this, right? In every industry you can imagine, in every language you can imagine, and actually solving real problems for a business. Super, super powerful, right? Think about it, right? Extremely powerful, right? And this is what I was trying to explain to you folks so that uh, uh, you can use it in your business, in your brand right away, right? Uh, of course, Michelle was saying the great community. So now you can ask any questions you have, right? Uh, and Marcy was saying she's learning and stuff like that. Amy was saying, I'm going to buy it in two days. Amy, make a decision quickly, okay? At the very least, I recommend Amy to lock in on this pain, lock in on this, uh, because the point I'm trying to make is we're going, we're planning on closing this down soon. What our plan is, is that we want to charge for add-ons, okay? So for example, you see, add your own branding to the chat right? Like stuff like this, we want to charge more money because we cannot give it to everybody. Uh, adding it on unlimited websites, we're going to put limits on it. If people want to buy a pack of 10 websites or whatever, they got to pay more money, you know, uh, stuff like that, right? So our idea was that we want to give our customers with no gimmicks, no confusion, because oftentimes I'm on a live webinar, live stream like this. And then uh, people say like, Paul, you know, you confused me too much. You said, buy this upsell, buy that upsell, buy that add-on. I'm, I'm totally lost. Just give me everything and just don't complicate it. Well, you get everything. Let me repeat that again. You get everything, no upsells, no hidden fees, no downsells. You get everything you get. There's no confusion. All the updates are included, okay? Meaning if there's a version 2.0, you get it for free. Version 3.0, get it for free. Even for that matter, right? This is another thing I was mentioning. A lot of times what our plan is is to create an ecosystem of products. So human pal, how do we make it integration with human bot? We are working on that. So what the plan is, is that you never waste money with our tools. You will never have a tool that becomes redundant after a few months, right? It happens all the time. You buy something, it becomes useless after a while. And then somebody sells you a newer version of it. My goal is all of our products. The last three years, we released only three products. All of them talk to each other, integrate with each other, okay? There's no feature that is redundant with the other one. Does that make sense? So that's the other cool thing here, okay? Now, uh, I'm, I'm seeing your questions too, right? Uh, this is a good question. Hope there will be more emotions in French. You let us know uh, in our roadmap about this. We'll add them in. See, the thing is, right? Like if you go into our um, our application, you'll notice this quite a bit, okay? And uh, I can tell you that for a fact, right? Because I do this all the time. So if you go into our application, uh, you'll notice something. We are separating them based on location as well because French, there's Canadian French, France French, and also uh, the French in countries where they speak, like Haiti and stuff like that, right? So uh, you want to make sure that the accent is similar to match those languages, right? So when you say French, we want to know what French you're talking about, right? Uh, so from France or from Canada, stuff like that. Okay, is that cool? All right, so uh, the uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So when you go into the application, uh, I'm actually opening up right now real quick. Uh, sometimes changing these windows is kind of not as easy, right? So anyway, so... When you go in here, you see when I scroll down, there's so many languages, but uh, let's look at your French you are talking. You see this? We have French from Canada, French from Belgium, uh, French from France, French from Switzerland. You see? You need to tell us which one you want us to add and we'll look into it. Our team will be happy to look into it based on priority, right? 
one of the things uh, we we've been getting traction on and we didn't even expect it to be honest was uh, uh, Chinese like Mandarin and stuff right uh, we've been able to reach a lot of customers from there so we've uh, added a lot of uh, you know if you see here right the Chinese uh, language we added a lot of voices here in these uh, Chinese languages right and uh, the beauty is you see this we have emotions in the Chinese language right you see this uh, Shao Han and all that. Uh, the reason is that we didn't expect there was going to be so many people asking us for Mandarin. So we prioritized that and we're going to work towards that language. I know for you, it might be like, uh, I wish you added French as a priority. It's just that I want to make sure you understand that based upon how many customers are requesting, we make a note and we add it in. We were blown away by how many people are interested in the, in Mandarin um, and Cantonese and stuff like that. So we added emotions to that. So yeah, we will be adding for more voices as well. Just a question of prioritization, right? Uh, Randall said, I prefer no upsell. Absolutely. Why would you uh, get an upsell and confuse yourself, right? And this is the thing. And it's so frustrating for me. And I, I, I don't want to talk about this, but I'm kind of forced to talk about it, unfortunately, uh, because what is the real cost, right? And this is the problem I face when I'm trying to explain this. People, they go into these so-called lifetime deals or these networks and they're like, Paul, you know, 199 bucks you're saying, or that $77 payment plan option, right? Slash, I'll just say $77 option. It's too expensive, some people tell me. Well, the problem is, if you were to buy something for $49, what is the real cost, right? And I'm going to tell you what the cost is. It's going to add up. Like they're going to say upsell number one is this add-on, upsell number two is this add-on, this add-on, this add-on, right? And the problem is by the time you know it, it's $707 before you can even make use of it. And even then that may not be enough. They may charge you for advanced training and all that. And now here's the worst part, unfortunately. Some of them sneak in a yearly fee. Some of them sneak in, um, uh, you know, like fees like that without even mentioning to you. I'm saying you get one time payment, okay? You don't have to pay for you because you're all our customers, right? And more importantly, even worse, and I'm going to tell you from my perspective, you can let me know your uh, what you think about this because it's frustrating for me personally. Uh, but the time, right? Like you bought this, you were interested, you bought this. Uh, and then uh, here you go through this approach, right? This one. It's going to take you 20 minutes to go through upsell number one, right? Uh, another 20 minutes to go through upsell number two. Before you know it, you're wasting like five hours going through stuff just to understand what each upsell is. And I was told by some of our customers that people, and it's so unfortunate, people are actually saying, I love this guy or this product or whatever, but I don't know what the upsells are. And then they go to Google of all places. And I found out in our Facebook group, this when I was talking to customers, they go to Google and they type, uh, they search reviews, right? To find out if there's a hidden cost involved somewhere. And it, that's so frustrating. I mean, you're a customer, you're the king or the queen, right? Why should you go in and do research on Google to find the hidden costs and uh, find the upsells and all this other stuff? It should be, I, it should be my job or whoever it is, their job to actually give you that straight out the gate with no confusion, right? So the real cost is not even the money here, the time wasted, the confusion, uh, the extraordinary frustration too, right? Now, again, that being said, that's for you folks. I'm going to simplify it, right? Later on, we might be adding, uh, let's say, for example, uh, add-ons and all that stuff within our within the account for other people. You'll be me grandfathered in because we have to kind of make the cost worthwhile. So even if we lose money on your purchase here, I don't care. You're going to be grandfathered in and we have a track record of over uh, 10 years plus, like in the last eight years I've been in SaaS application, not a single one has gone down. It's not where some people are like, oh, they built something one year from now, you can't even log into the application and the person runs away. That's the reason why I have my Facebook groups, right? Unfortunately, it's so difficult to manage it because I have to deal with complaints sometimes, people are not happy with something, but you know somewhere to complain. You know Paul is behind it and you know who to complain to. That is a huge burden on me, right? And that is a good thing. That's a good thing for you because then you know I'm gonna take it seriously no matter the cost, right? All right, so another uh, uh, question, right? Check this out. Yeah, Mark was saying, I Google OT on the software name, hate time spent trying to find the true cost of the software. I mean, I didn't even know this was happening, okay, Mark? Like I, I found out from our Facebook group recently and it, and I was blown away because time is money, right? Like, and if you're wasting time to search on this, you shouldn't be buying that product. Simple, right? Because it's too complicated. Why should you even bother, right? Now, uh, Kristen was asking, how do we integrate it in a website? Good question. See, this is why we do this live, right? So all you have to do, integrate it into a website. Uh, you just have to do this, okay? You follow six simple steps in human mind, okay? Six simple steps. So let's say, for example, I'll, I'll just open up a, a project here. So you go into campaigns. You go into any project here. I'm just going to, uh, actually, let me go to my campaign because 
I'm creating so many of these for these live streams. I want to make all right. So okay. So let's say, for example, that you created one, right? You you go in through these steps and you went through it and you created the campaign and you watch the tutorials. You go here and then you click next here, right? And you added the training or whatever you want to do, and you click create campaign, right? So let's go to that same campaign. I get to search here. Now, what you do here, Christian, is um, basically you have two options. Okay, you can click on this get code button. Let me let me let me show that again because it's important. Get code. Click on that button, right? Click on it, and then you have the embed code here. So you you embed this code into any website, similar to like uh, in WordPress or like similar to like Google Analytics code or any Facebook Pixel code which you added. Just put it in, copy the paste it do any snippet of uh, the and we have tutorials on that too it's not that difficult it works with every page builder everything else out there now there's one important thing okay we have also instant site url what does that mean instant site url simply means okay instant site url simply means that if you do not have access to the back end dashboard to a website or to a client's website and stuff like that what you can do is that you can share this instant site URL to that client without you having access to the back end. It's automatically going to preview how HumanBot will look like on a website without you even having to check the back end. This is useful when you go and approach a client and say, look, this is the link. Check out how I did it for your website and they'll be blown away, right? Right at the gate. So uh, this is the option, okay? This will show a live preview of how it will look like on a client's website before you even do it, okay? That's how you do it. Now, um, uh, uh, now, another uh, question is, okay, uh, which is, I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible, folks, okay, uh, uh, to my to my best of my ability, okay? Um, um, all right, so this other question, okay? Um, let's see here. All right, yeah, yeah, of course, right? Yeah, some products have as many as 10 upsells and non-existent customer service. Check this out, right? L look at our, our tool here. You come in here. We are the only company in the industry which does this. Check this out. You can book these things as well, okay? Uh, right out of the gate, if you want to. Not need it, something that you can do. Sometimes maybe that will do. You can book in an appointment with our team and you can have something answered quickly. This is good where you, you want to have somebody to talk to or whatever, you can definitely do that. We just started doing it recently. I don't know if you can handle this longer term, but for you folks, I'm giving it, especially right now, um, because we're activating it to limited amount of accounts. We're going to remove it in the future for people who'll buy later on. Um, um, so I'm just testing it out. So let me know if it works out, but we help you out this way too. It's not just about email support. We go beyond that as well to help you out, right? Now, um, another question Johnny was asking, excellent question. See, this is why I'm in the, I'm in the live webinar. So he was saying, Paul, I noticed other purchases is missing under my purchases. So Johnny, what the plan is, is that this My Purchases is going to be for people in the future. So what happens is for you, you get access to everything, okay? Um, so don't even bother looking at My Purchases, okay? Uh, you get access to everything. So basically, there's nothing extra for you to buy. There's nothing. Like, even if you go in an application, there's not going to be no option for you to buy and all that stuff. You get access to everything. So the plan, why do we have that My Purchases then? So what the plan is, is after we finish this early bird special, we're going to start charging add-ons for other people. You'll be grandfathered in, but for other people, we'll add add-ons. Now, what does that add-on mean? So let's say, for example, we'll say pay $100 to remove the branding, for example, right? Uh, branding option. Uh, we're going to say pay an extra, uh, let's say, for example, $100 in order to uh, get extra, uh, let's say, 20 sites, right? Right now, for you, it's unlimited, right? Um, let's say we'll say another, let's say I'm just making up some hundred dollars as a random number. It can be a recurring subscription. It can be other pricing, but anyway, uh, let's say you pay hundred dollars for traffic. Let's say for an extra 50,000 visitors, right? Pay this. That's why we put that my purchases in. Okay. We're going to have add-ons in the application for people to buy. You are not going to have that. You don't have anything to worry about here. Okay. Don't worry about it at all. Uh, that's my guarantee to you as a human bot customer right now, as you're getting in the early bird special. All the updates will be free for you. You will not be asked to buy any add-on in the application. So in other words, if we decide to add that speech feature, right? Remember I was telling you voice chat feature? It's not going to be an add-on for you to buy extra. Like if you go into any campaign, uh, like you go into any campaign like this one, let's right? say, for example, and uh, you, uh, let's say you want to do document training or whatever here in this case, you're not going to be charged extra for it. 
um, you want to do any integrations, you're not going to charge extra for it, right? Uh, you want to do, for example, this powered by branding, you want to add custom branding, right? Whatever name you want to put, you're not going to be charged extra for it. Does that make sense? So the point being that everything is included, okay? Good question. Uh, I'm glad I could answer this question, okay? Um, another uh, question is, uh, uh, which is a really good question as well, um, is uh, basically, um, what about video creators, Paul? Like some of the video creators that you created in the past, and that's thing. How does this integrate with that? So we've done it two ways. Okay. So uh, how you can do it with um, HumanBot is basically this guy. You can render the video out in green screen and import it into our Avatar Builder application, Video Creator. Uh, you can import this uh, spokesperson in green screen into other application or even any video editing application. Okay. That's one. Uh, in the future, we're looking at your roadmap and we might even work towards an even greater integration. One of the big ones I'm working on, and it's a priority checklist of things to do, is um, integrate the applications more deeper. So in other words, we're going to have a tab for our human pal application here. You click on it they'll have some integration and they'll be talking to each other, right? Um, so for example, human uh, pal projects could be coming into here, that kind of thing, depending on the use cases and all that, okay? Uh, now, another, um, again, I answered this question for Samuel as well, right? How do you embed it? You get a code, uh, you can put it in as well, okay? Now, another, uh, thank you, appreciate that, Alex. Uh, appreciate that for you. Um, now, uh, check this out. This is John. When I go to the bonus, I'm required to pay. There's nothing to pay. I don't know what bonuses you're mentioning, but uh, basically when you click on this here, this bonuses tab, that's it. You get access to everything, all the bonuses here. Uh, the only thing though is that a uh, couple of the bonuses, they will be given to you as a part of our weekly training session. So what I mean by that is like, uh, if you go in here, um, so let me explain this. So if you go into uh, this, right, like the six weeks training, it's going to be spread out over six weeks. It's not going to be obviously six weeks right away because it's live. I'm going to be taking your feedback. So you're going to get that. Um, this one right now, this one, for example, will be included for free as our developers are integrating this in. Um, we gave the idea for this one is when we do our live training session coming up in the next few days, um, it's going to be announced as well for you. And this is going to be included for free. Okay. Uh, this one is already in the application, nothing extra to buy. Um, this one is coming up as well as a part of our live training session. And then uh, the pre-trained industry will be added as we get more feedback, effectively similar to our roadmap. And of course, I've also given instant access to the speech to text transcription application. Okay. Um, um, so uh, that's the uh, main point. And then uh, Ade was asking, will this integrate with WordPress WooCommerce? 100%. Uh, so we've tested it. We have uh, tested it with all kinds of page builders, WordPress and everything. Uh, E-commerce websites like Shopify, it works perfectly fine with all these platforms. Yeah, for sure. Uh, now, uh, another uh, question here is that, uh, would you add uh, these languages? Okay, good question. So yes, in a nutshell, we will be adding as many languages as you want. You let us know, uh, we're gonna be having a roadmap based upon the requests, right? Like if most of the customers ask for this language to be added, that's gonna be priority. If not, it's gonna be in the checklist of things to do and we'll do the first things first kind of thing priority. Like for example, a lot of people have asked us for that voice chat thing, like app, uh, like that Apple Siri kind of thing, right? We are gonna have that as number one in our list of things. We're gonna be doing it. It's gonna be done in the next, uh, uh, before we do our live training session, because I wanna showcase this application. How do we do, how do you use this feature and all that, right? Uh, similarly, a lot of people have asked us uh, for that uh, speech to text thing. That's why I gave away that bonus, the beta, before we even, um, released it and sold it to anybody. So that's the main thing. Okay. Um, now another, uh, question is, um, uh, can we, uh, this is a good question. Joe was asking, can we combine live chat and other features as an AI in one bot? Yes. Depending on the flow. Okay. Uh, you can ask our support team on this one. The idea is that it will work like this, right? So, uh, in a simple nutshell, um, how you would do it is you have a flow, right? Like, let's say for example, you have I mean, let me open up uh, human bot here. So how you would do it is you would go into the human bot application, um, let's say, all right. So uh, let me just go in here. So here you see you have a flow here, right? So at any point in the flow, you can add action and you click on live chat, okay? And click save. So what that means is at any point, like any decision people make, when you add this, it moves over to live chat. You can do this even based on keyword triggers. Like if somebody types in uh, at any point, live chat or 
they say speak to human, right? I want to speak to human or something. I don't know. There's some keywords, right? Uh, you can transfer that to live chat as well based on what people type as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, 100%. We have the flexibility to be able to do so. Uh, Chris saying is to join just now. Let me give you a quick um, rundown uh, here, Chris. Very simple. Uh, you just join in. I'll kind of do like a, like a, uh, you know, summary of it as well for those folks uh, who missed out earlier on in the webinar and stuff, no worries. Uh, so uh, basically, Chris, the human bot technology, I showed you how using the power of AI, you can build an entire business. So what I did, uh, Chris, is I showed this diagram. Uh, I mean, it's kind of gibberish right now for you, I understand. But the idea is that uh, I showed you how you can get traffic and getting traffic is not that difficult if you understand the flow, right? Basically, especially if you find affinity keywords, I gave a free software earlier on the webinar that allows you to do this. And then what I did is uh, basically, uh, once you do that, then it's all about lead generation. For a business, if you can just generate 10 to 15% more revenue or more leads or more sales for them, uh, at the end of the day, more appointments, doesn't matter, they will be infinitely more profitable or they'll shut down. That's the difference, the margins are so thin, right? Uh, so by having a 24 seven, customer support agent, sales agent, using a power of AI, right? Doing performing real tasks like booking appointments, negotiating with a prospect, converting them into sales, uh, generating leads, and then sending them automated emails, stuff like that, right? Basically, you can go about doing it right out of the gate. Does that make sense? So that's another super powerful thing, right? Now, uh, another uh, question that came in um, uh, is, and I'll, I'll try to answer them as well as we go along, um, so that... Uh, uh, you you can do it. So uh, will the training be uh, uh, recorded for those unable to be live? Yeah, for the six weeks training, 100%. All the trainings we do will be for live, right? Uh, uh, Brother Roderick is saying a little integrated wholesale about 100%, right? Any e-commerce builder, any Shopify store, WordPress works with everything, okay? And again, for those who didn't buy, this is the thing. Human slash yes, I'm doing this live stream to do a Q&A to answer real questions that you folks are having, okay? Uh, so that uh, um, it will do it. Now, link to a roadmap, right? So this I'm going to be announcing along with our other features that I showed you in our live training session, okay? Uh, it's coming up. So register for that one because I'm going to be announcing the roadmap. I'm going to be announcing that uh, voice chat feature I was mentioning, some other things as well on that live webinar because my goal is to show you how to use it, not just tell you it's there because what's the point? You have the feature, you don't know how to use it. What's the point? We'll walk through that, right? How it's usable and stuff, right? Um, now, let me announce some winners here, right? To make things fun and then we'll be closing this down. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do to make things fun a little bit here is you decide, okay, I'm going to let you folks post in the chat box. Do you want me to give away three of these like hats or t-shirts? Like I have um, this t-shirt here. Um, let me actually show you. Uh, like I have this t-shirt here. You want me to give away a swag like this, like this kind of a t-shirt or you want cold hard cash? You tell me uh, which one you prefer. Um, oh, and basically you want me to give away cash or you want me to give away uh, something like this where I'll ship it for free. Okay, you decide. I mean, whatever works for you. Okay, and um, then I'll announce uh, three people, right? And maybe I'll mix and match depending on what people here. Okay, I'm seeing swag. I'm seeing cash, hats, t-shirts. Wow. Okay. So let me do it this way then. Right? Uh, so I'll announce. Um, I'll announce three of swag winners, and I'll announce one one hundred dollar winner. Fair. So that way, um, the or let's let's do it this way. I'll announce two $50 winners and three swag winners. So that five, so that way five people can win, okay? So that way uh, people feel like, uh, you know, more people have a chance of winning, right? Okay, so uh, let's see here, okay. So the first winner, let's see here, and I've, I've actually, let me open up my notepad here so that I can save uh, the winner's name. Uh, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so the winner is, all uh, right, here we go. Um, and, and by the way, okay, so I'm just trying to put it so that you know it's a real person, okay? So um, the winner for this swag, I'm going to give you three swag winners and two $50 winners, okay? All right, so let's see here. All right, okay, perfect. All right, so let's announce the swag. Okay, I will uh, give, all right, so the winner is, Al Bernard, okay, first one. So I'll give away swag. You can decide um, you want to mix and match or you wanted to get one of the hoodies. I'll give you the uh, whatever is valuable at 50 bucks or more, right? Thereabouts. All right, so well, let me add you in, Al Bernard. Uh, congrats to you in swag, okay? And I'll post the winners too in the in our group as well, by the way, okay? 
Um, now, then the next winner is, again, Alan has three swag winners, as I mentioned here, right? Uh, yeah, next winner is uh, Raymond Porter. Congrats to you, Raymond. Again, my team is just randomly sending this over to me from the chat box. Uh, again, he's a swag winner as well. Congrats to you. We have one more. Let's see here. Congrats to, let's see here. Um, who that winner is again, folks, I'm going to give away a lot more prizes in our Facebook group and stuff like that. Okay. Is that cool? Uh, so that you all can, uh, uh, uh do it. So, okay. So our next, uh, winner is, uh, Cheryl tips. Congrats to you, Cheryl. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, get that over to you. So Cheryl tips, congrats to you. All right, so you are three. So whatever it costs to ship, like you're in the middle of nowhere, you're in Jamaica. Like I shipped it <laughs> recently. Like I, uh, I did a swag shipment. I sent it to somebody in uh, in an island in the Caribbean. It took uh, incredible. Like there's like a, only a flight that goes there once every two months or something, and uh, so we had to like expedite it to ensure that it fits within that time frame. It was crazy, but I did it for free. I paid it for everything. Okay, uh, so uh, congrats to you three. Now I'll announce two more fifty dollar winners so that. Um, uh, it's going to be fun. So let's see here. Let me make notes. Again, these are all real winners, folks. I'm not making up the names. That's why it's worth it to be on these live streams with me, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot more fun. Uh, it's it's exciting in that sense, right? All right. So uh, let's see here. Um, my team is just sending that over to me. Uh, let's see. And again, by the way, this was this is now cash, right? Too. And if you folks want to change that over, up to you. I mean, it's like your preference, right? For me, it doesn't even really matter, right? Uh, uh, anyways, okay. So the winner is congrats to uh, this. Uh, uh, let's see here. All right. So we're gonna do Al Tay. You win fifty bucks, uh, Al. Congrats to you. Um, let me make your note here. Fifty bucks winner. I'll say, I'm making a note. My team will be getting in touch with you, and I'll post in our Facebook group out. So, congrats to you. Uh, yeah, you are lucky that you woke up. By the way, I just that's the only comment I could find of yours when my team posted your you there. Okay, cool. Uh, one more winner. Okay, let me announce that one winner. Just keep the, keep the suspense rolling for fun. Keep pushing a chat box, and I will announce one more just so that it's more fun. Uh, just one thing I wanted to make sure um, here as well, right? uh basically is uh while i'm here okay because i'm i've been uh doing this here so let me announce this is the uh, page if you haven't already gotten it folks okay so first things first uh, if you haven't gotten it now let me answer some questions so post them in the chat box so a couple of things i want to do is i want to kind of um uh, demo some things that uh, you folks missed out on because some of you folks are coming in late and that sort of thing so i'll kind of demo some things uh all over again so if uh, you folks have been here from the start you can kind of leave because i'm just gonna uh, demo some things after, but afterwards, I uh, really appreciate your uh, questions. So will there be a replay for the session as Edward was asking? Yeah, it should be automatic after this live session is done. We're going to have a, a replay for this one right after. Okay. Uh, it's going to be up for you to see. Um, software was mentioned in the announcement. So this one is basically the, um, application that I gave away for free today, uh, that which you can get access to on this page. I'll leave the link here. Uh, for those who come in later on. See, this is why you got to come in the start. I explain the software and everything uh, so you can get it here. This is a free software just for attending. Every single attendee will get it. It's going to allow you to get more traffic from your videos and your content uh, that you do because traffic is a lot, a lot of people's issue there, right? Uh, and they feel like there's too much competition for the industries that they're getting into, right? So that's another um, thing. All right, so now you have one more winner to be given away too, okay? I'll just kind of uh, scroll back um, and, and kind of answer some questions that came in. Uh, uh, so you see this right here. Uh, when, uh, when was asking, so uh, will live chat go to a business phone number when a person asks to speak with someone? So you have two choices here. Uh, one is you can basically get it into a live chat, like a live chat person, or alternatively, you can create a separate flow that which will actually send um, basically a text message and creates a sequence that way, like an appointment booking system. Now, why do we not do phone per se? I'll tell you why, okay? And this real data uh, to back this up, okay? Uh, so when we did this, right? Like when we did um, like direct to phone, a lot of people have bad phone connections and then they don't pick up the phone. They, they, they have to leave halfway through. So the better system always, and this is why everybody does it, is 
uh, you have a person come in, they have the chat sequence, right? Uh, what they do is we get them into a calendar or an appointment uh, booking system, okay? So you get them into an appointment, right? And uh, you get them through that process. Does that make sense? So uh, basically the appointment means they'll book it with the time frame that they like because you cannot expect, um, you know, like a support agent to be available all the time and all that, right? So this gets compliance because people picked saying, I'm available at this particular time, at this particular date, or today at this particular time, their likelihood of showing up is very high, okay? When you automatically move it into a phone, you're not gonna get that much compliance. People are not gonna show up because some people are shy and all that, right? Uh, that's one thing, right? Now, uh, the other um, uh, question, okay, and, and appreciate all you folks uh, uh, sending this over. This is a good question. A couple of people are asking, Tanya was saying, can you explain how I could get just a bot landing page and nothing else? So this uh, can be done. How you would do this is you could have a basic page, like, like you could have like a blank page too, if you want. Um, let's say like an image, like you could have if you want. Uh, how you would do this is uh, basically in the, um, okay, I'll show you this by the way. So you could pick, um, let me let me actually show you this one right now. So in the application itself, you go in, in any campaign, in the last step, okay, in the sixth step. So let's, let me show you this one right here. In the sixth step, right, um, whatever it's, uh, uh, it is, here, you see how it says use site screenshot? So what this is uh, basically, Tanya, is you could have a dummy website or you could even have like a blank website or you could even have like an image or you could even have like a simple, simple page or whatever you have. And then you could say use screenshot here of that. And then now what's going to do is it's going to, it's gonna when, when you go into this instant site URL that you created, you don't even need to have a website of yours. You don't have anything. This also works really well. And in cases where, for example, like I said, where the client is basically uh, a customer of a real estate business or they want to buy a house or whatever and you want them to capture their lead before they go in and buy something right so how you would do this one is uh you would do it like this you go back into this step here uh, you see this blackout mode tanya so what you do is you check this blackout mode what this means is uh, uh when you check that up human body is going to completely cover the page and black out everything around it, okay? So it doesn't even really matter what the behind the scenes, what behind the uh, 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 human body is at all. So you can do it this way too. The blackout one is specifically for this. It's like a like a paywall, like it blocks people, you understand? So you can do that too, by the way, okay? Now, um, the other uh, point, and by the way, folks, okay? Uh, I'll post the link up uh, for human body here uh, real quick so you can get it. This is your last chance to do so because once I know the last pending, uh, you know, person, right? The winner, the last winner, I will be closing this webinar down because I want to make sure that people can go check it later on. Okay. Um, now, uh, now the other uh, question is, uh, which is a really good question, um, is uh, basically this question is a good question right here. We, uh, we recommend though, if you're going to do it this way, completely instead of the going this route because it's sometimes people don't do SSL certificates correctly and all that. It's too complicated. Instead, I would prefer if you're doing it and we know it from experience, instead of just doing this instant site URL, right? Embed it into your own website for uh, for actual more thing. Like for example, how you would do it is you create a custom bot, right? In the custom bot, you name it whatever you want. You want to name it, let's say, um, whatever. Let's say, for example, you want to do it, uh, Paul's bot. I, don't know, I just made it up. And then you click a URL here. So when you do the powered by, right, then you can put it embedded into your own agency website or your own marketing website or whatever. So when people land, they'll have no linkage back. The problem is when you go in through that C name and DNS and all that mumbo jumbo stuff, the problem becomes that, first of all, it might not load with some browsers. Second of all, if you don't have your SSL certificate figured out, it causes problems and all these things. And so from experience, what we know is that you go with this way better or use one of our links, it's faster. Uh, but if that's something a lot of people request in our roadmap, I'll be look, happy to look into it. Uh, we just, not a lot of people do that because it's too complicated, you know? Um, now, another uh, point is, uh, 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 which is uh, a good question, is this one right here. I noticed the sales page, Amanda doesn't really speak my language in Netherlands. Um, is there a way to overcome that? So there's two approaches. You have a translation option, right? Amanda has a translation option. So in other words, you use the translation option. The other way is you can natively create 
uh, human, but from your language. Okay, Dennis, this is good for people who are gonna serve it and you can force it to speak in, uh, in this case, uh, Dutch, right? Um, or Netherlands, whatever, right? So you wanna, so you go into campaigns, any new campaign you create, let's say, uh, let's say for example, you do it this way, um, this campaign, you choose Amanda here, I'm just making up somebody here, see language, Netherlands, right? Go into the Netherlands uh, here. Um, let's see here. I think it'll be Dutch, right? I'm sorry if I don't know. <laughs> Not the best uh, person in the live stream, but yeah, let's go here. Yeah, Dutch. You see this? Yeah, Dutch, uh, Belgium, and Dutch Netherlands. So you can use any one of uh, these. Colette, uh, you can use Fena. And then you can go next. And here, the flow, right? You could change it into your language. So you see the conversation here, you would write it in uh, Dutch. So it forces that language, does that make sense? And you'll speak that language by default because you're forcing it in that original language. I have a tutorial on this, by the way, in detail. Uh, the thing is that you have to understand, right? Like if you try to go native, like our system translated automatically. So what we did in HumanBots page, right? Um, let me actually save this for real quick. Um, so what we did for simplicity purposes, we actually did this automatically translate text to the visitor's language, right? When we do this, it's translating. It's not going to be obviously 100% native, uh, which is good. It's useful for many use cases for global audiences. Uh, but if you want it in native, you want to force it from the beginning, OK? I uh, hope that answers your question. Now, um, another uh, point is that, again, it's all based upon choices. We have that flexibility here, right? Um, and uh, uh, again, thank you, Raymond. All right, congrats on being a winner, by the way. Uh, as well. So I'll answer two more questions and then this is it. Okay. This is your last chance, folks. Okay. Those who are what doing it, this is your last chance to ask questions and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, another question came in is I'm also considering a landing page since my website is an e-commerce setup. Yes. So for e-commerce setup, it's much more easier. Like we have campaigns that I showed you in the example sites uh, you've seen in our de my demo as well. Um, basically, the point is that um, in the cases of e-commerce, we have specific e-commerce campaigns. Like if you go back uh, to uh, here uh, in the campaigns here, right? We have specific campaigns, okay, uh, for different, like, and you can select the languages too for those, by the way, okay? And you can do that for e-commerce. Um, you can do it for like offering a discount coupon, right? It's offering a discount coupon code is uh, pretty powerful for e-commerce businesses. So you can click load and it does the discount coupon sequence and you can make changes to it, add tax to it and stuff like that, right? So it works really well. Um, now, um, now another question, right, is, uh, uh, which is, um, uh, please post the traffic software again. See, uh, this is the link. So I'm going to give you the link. So you can go to this uh, uh, link to get that. That's the free software I gave it to you just for attending this webinar. It's livestream software app.io slash video tag finder. All right. So a couple of things I'm going to make real quick, folks. Okay. And I'm going to put up the link here uh, for human bot. Um, I'm going to make a quick point here. Okay. I appreciate everybody for being on this live stream. And those who will be watching this later on before we close this down for good. I just want you to understand that. Um, this is the best application we've ever built and the most futuristic application we've ever built in the sense that it's future proof. Let me repeat why that is important. So what that means is it, it has flexibility. You can create your own flows and all that. It has also additional features like you can move it into a live chat if you want to. It works in any language. It also has live speak. So when you type, it speaks again. And what we are doing, as I said, uh, because of the customer request in the next couple of days or so, we're going to actually have a feature, right? where I'm going to be announcing in a live workshop. So register for that if you got in already, right? Where you could speak or your users can speak, website visitors can speak, and then it'll transcribe it into text and automatically the um, you know human body will speak back. So it's like talking to Siri, right? Uh, you can say uh, and speak and, you know, um, for example, and then get actual responses back and do it. That's a really, really cool feature, especially for mobile devices. People in the mobile device, it's kind of hard to type, right? So it's very useful uh, for those users as well. And we tested it, it's working really well, but, but it's still in beta. Once uh, in my live stream coming up in the next few days, I'm gonna announce that and I'm gonna show you how to use it, how to get results with it and all that stuff, okay? Now, uh, the other uh, question um, is that, um, uh, which is uh, uh, again, uh, something I wanted to do. Uh, can I translate this webinar in Italian language? So what's going to happen is after we have a replay, you'll have uh, uh, basically captions. You can translate that over into that language after because we're on YouTube, right? Um, another uh, point uh, was Terry was asking, can I use the $100 price towards the software? Because she was one of the winners. Yes. 
uh, you can do that too. Okay. Uh, just email our support team. I'll take care of you there. Okay. Uh, Terry, I appreciate you again. Congrats on being one of the winners from our last live stream, by the way. All right. So um, another question is uh, basically, um, again, thank you so much for the great comments, by the way, folks. Um, uh, which is a really, really good question. Um, and all the great questions you guys are posting too as well. I'm trying my best to answer as many as possible. Uh, what are the dates for the live uh, training? Uh, so I've left the information and it's actually right now you can register for it. It's actually just a few days from now. Uh, the reason why I put it a few days from now is we're closing down HumanBot, uh, the launch offer, uh, like in the very soon, actually. I mean, within the next uh, 24, 48 hours or something. For some people who are watching later, it's even faster. Um, probably it's by the time you check it out, it's it's going to be gone. The point is that what I did is in the human bot application, if you go in here, um, you you will see this little link here, get your human bot bonuses. Okay. Click on this link here. When you click on that, you'll be able to register for my six weeks training. That's coming up in a few days. You'll have the date and the time. I'm just going to avoid saying that right now because I'm, uh, when I'm clicking on it, I don't want to give a wrong time because it's different time zones and all that in the world. Uh, but check it out, register for it. It's just in a few days, not that far away. And uh, that gives you enough time before that is done where you can go watch the tutorial, set up some campaigns and everything um, and, and do things. And on top of that, also the features that I mentioned that live voice chat and some other things, I will explain to you how we are using how our beta testers are using it and some things like that. So you'll be positioned to use that feature right away instead of it just be like, oh, it sounds cool. And then forgetting about it, you're like, oh, Paul, this is how I use it. Okay, wow, for mobile devices, they can speak. I see the value now. I'm going to focus on that for people who use mobile devices. For example, you know, I mean, real life um, uh, use cases, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Okay, now, um, is this going to be integrated into Avatar Builder? Uh, Tanya was asking, yes. Uh, we already have the integration built in, Tanya. So how that uh, works integration is, um, and this also works with other applications, of course, not just Avatar Builder, by the way. So uh, you can render out the, um, you see this right here? You can render it this out, like you can render out the video in green screen, okay? And then import it into Avatar Builder or uh, any one of our applications, like Video Creator is one. You can do that in, in Human Pal and stuff, and you can do that uh, for sure, okay? Um, this is a good question. When will you introduce Avatar with no hair? Okay, if this is a re feature request, let us know. We'll be happy to add that in. Uh, I'm surprised we don't have one. It's very interesting. Okay, we'll add that in for you, no worries, okay? If that is something a lot of people want. We're actually adding in uh, right now um, uh, different ones based upon feedback. And the other one which we are doing right now as a priority is more clothing options and also uh, different age groups, right? Like, um, you know, different age groups to t target different industries. That's the focus point, right? Uh, that's the other one as well, okay? Um, uh, this is, uh, Mao was asking, you're mentioning network marketing. Can I upload the entire information about the products? Buyer ask, for instance, have a back pain, what are 100%. So it has context, smart context. So how this works is like, when you upload data, right? As long, quality of data matters more. So if it is mostly, customer questions or feedback, it's even better. It, it actually performs better when it is real life common language and customer frequently asked questions. Um, so that means if you have any kind of questions or even like a QA, and a like the one I'm doing right now, right? I'm gonna transcribe this after this is done, right? For example. Uh, so uh, that these kind of questions do really well because Q and A back and forth, right? So that way it understands, oh, okay, users ask this way, this is what uh, we're gonna do, right? So uh, that should be good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, now, another uh, question is, uh, um, this is a good question, by the way. I, I mentioned this in our live stream and our Facebook as well. Will you provide a site URL to train the bot? Does it scan the entire site or specific pages? Uh, it's going to be specific pages. And I'll tell you why we did this, okay? Um, so what happens, right? Every page has different context first thing. So like contact us pages, but focused on something, frequently asked questions, shipping information for e-commerce, right? So you can just go in and add URLs here. You see this? You can add URLs uh, for different pages. And also the other thing is that uh, when you try to get the entire website, there's one other issue. And that is some websites have security systems built in. Like you go to microsoft.com and try to get the entire website, they won't allow you, right? It's, it's basically a security risk. So rather than going in through that whole mess and trying to uh, make it work across different enterprise, because we want to make it enterprise proof, we just made it simpler. You just put in the different URLs of different pages and it can train off of it and you're good to go. Uh, we don't want to get into that uh, where we tested this too, by the way, where we, when we tried to 
like basically scrape an entire website with all the pages. Um, for some websites, because of the security systems and also uh, other things, you just cannot do it. It won't work um, for 20. No, if somebody tells you it will work, they're faking it. Okay. I'm telling you that because I own websites uh, and I work with clients. I have websites which generate millions of visitors every year, right? But some of them we generate uh, hundreds of thousands of visitors in a month, right? And I can tell you for a fact that uh, the better option is this way because you don't have to deal with, um, you know, having the bot go haywire or not getting their data or even getting blocked uh, by the website, right? That's why we did this. And I'm, I tested it across the board, by the way. And if somebody says, yeah, it's going to do the whole website, I'm telling you 30% of the time it's going to fail. Uh, we tested it. Uh, we could have implemented it. It's too easy to do so. Um, in fact, it's harder to put multiple URLs. It's much easier to do one. Um, so that's why we did that, okay? I hope that sense, okay? Um, another question is how do I correct uh, a bot if it's a uh, wrong answer to specific question? So you just feed it more information. So you add that, like you go back into this document training and add an extra point to it where uh, question answer, like a frequently asked question thing, and it'll become smarter. Alternatively, you have another option. You can go into the flow here um, and you can do something like where I'll show you uh, real quick here. You can go into the flow here and any point in time, you can click on anything and you can do this keyword triggers. Okay, you see this keyword? So if somebody says, uh, how can I help? And if there's a match, so you could do it like this key keyword, right? Let's say in your business, the keyword is, um, let's say, for example, uh, live human, right? Then you can say, uh, great transferring you to a live human agent, example, right? It'll tag that. Or alternatively, what you could do is say, for example, if somebody types in, for example, are you real or something? Then you can say, I am an AI human bot. Um, uh, if you want a live agent, uh, let me know. And then you can add another point here where it's going to move over to the live chat. You see my point? You can do keyword based triggers. Uh, that's another option as well to uh, basically harden it, right? Like for sure, for sure, to make sure that it will work for you. Does that make sense? um so that uh, uh you can do that and again it incorporates with every single application of ours integrates with every single application of ours whether it's now past applications or future because we are future proofing this across the board okay um so yeah it's a good good point yeah now um another uh question is um uh will it be possible that the app uses only the upload documents for giving answers, not use AI if you don't want to. We tested this uh, uh Christina actually uh we have that option behind the scenes um, if users want it, they can do it, but there's one issue with this. Okay. And I want to be very transparent with you because we tested this. I have websites I'm running this on, right? Uh, so, uh, the problem with this one is there are, are going to be situations like this one. Like I told you, right. Are you real? Right. Are you real? You would not have, um, you know, a database of question and answer. Like you are a business owner. You might be having questions like, is there a money back guarantee? Is there like, um, you know, shipping time and all that. Somebody asked some question like, are you real? Or what's the date today? Or, uh, you know, like, where are you from? Or like uh, some some data that you didn't account for, then the AI completely goes blank, right? It's like, I cannot answer that question. And if the person keeps on asking that, it gets frustrating and then they leave, right? And we've noticed it, the 20 to 25%. So what we did is it will answer, AI will answer questions. You can do triggered answers, like what I just showed you, right? Uh, based on keywords, right? Um, and on top of that, you can also feed it your own documents or your data, right? So you have your own data. And also we have something called contextual AI, okay? Contextual um, AI, which is basically where it'll find out that, okay, this bot is for real estate agents. This bot is for dentists. This bot is for, uh, a, you know, like a yoga instructor, let's say. And automatically it's going to have the context. So if the question is, are you real? Or the question is like, uh, what's the what's the time? Or when can I uh, give you a call? Or do you serve people in, let's say, uh, Africa, or Egypt, Latin America or something? It doesn't, it, 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 instead of having no answer, it has a contextual answer, meaning it'll connect. Like in our case with human bot, it'll connect chatbot to human bot, AI to human bot, right? Task assistant to human bot, personal assistant to human bot. There's contextual uh, linking. So even if somebody types in, uh, how is this different from a, a receptionist? It can understand. How is this different from a chat bot? You'll understand. You get my point? How is this different from chat GPT? It's going to understand the context, even though I didn't train it. I didn't even give it data like how this is different from chat GPT, right? Um, so that contextual AI is a huge game changer because it may not be relevant for all the users, but that 20% it does, okay? Um, 
if you really want to do it, like if a lot of people want it, maybe we'll put it. But I just don't want to be in a scenario where you get into an issue where um, it will not have that answer. And I've had that happen and we lost some sales when we did that. That's why when we tested this application in real websites so far as getting traffic and sales, uh, we decided to go this other way, which is it's going to answer based on the documentation, have contextual analysis, it's going to be smart responses, or go a step further and do the keyword analysis and get even better results uh, where you can have a forced response, okay? Hope that um, is uh, clear. Uh, now, another question is, uh, can chat activity be logged in email to us? Yes. Uh, so it'll be in the analytics uh, here, um, John. So this is the analytics. So you're going to have that uh, here. Okay, is that cool? Uh, you're going to have that in the analytics tab uh, here. So you can check the analytics. And you can also study the chat history as well using the chats tab here. You have both options. Okay, is that cool? Uh, so you can do both uh, if that is something that you wanted to do. Okay. Uh, now, again, for those folks asking for the link, human body is the last chance to get it. Once we close this down, you're going to be missing out for good. Okay. You're not getting another opportunity at uh, human bot ever again at this price point, especially. Okay. Um, now another, uh, uh thing is, uh, uh, what keeps human bot from recommending my client's competitor? So if this is the case, you, you feed it that information question, is this better than X? Put your competitor's name and respond. You can even do keyword triggers as well. Uh, generally speaking, we have not faced this issue, uh, but you can check. Like if you see any kind of a chat response that is not favorable here in this chat history, you can uh, definitely uh, go about doing it, right? So I've done that, like actually uh, where I've done this uh, these uh, sales page tests here, and then I've uh, gone into the chat tab and I've gotten it to do what I wanted it to check. And I've gone in and did trigger based stuff. And I also fed it more information afterwards. Okay, I've done that for sure um and so it's stored and the beauty is this chat history stored in amazon cloud service so you never have to worry about it going down and all that right um and uh now um the other thing is do i need to use my own open ai key or something no you don't have to use any of your open ai api key google bard api key or uh, anthropic cloud all these systems you're integrated i'm paying it from my pocket even though you're paying lifetime access to it does that make sense even though they're okay all right so um uh now um let's see here all right so let me announce the last one uh last winner so that's 50 dollars winner here uh so i've announced uh, four winners already let's announce the last one and then we'll close this webinar down okay uh now alex was asking before i get that when will the speech recognition be available uh for chat with the mod? this is going to be aligned with our uh, live workshop coming up in the next few days uh, i'm going to be announcing it we already have it integrated we are doing some beta testing in different languages as i mentioned so like you know we have people from 50 countries right we have to make sure that when we release it it works for arabic right to left text uh, hebrew is right to left and then there's also for example uh, different language uh, text like uh, japanese uh, mandarin and uh, hindi these are these are like not the text like thai language these are a little bit different right so they're not like english words like french or spanish so we have to do some testing once we're doing that yeah the projected time is i'm going to link it to when you go into this um, uh, bonuses here and you get to that six weeks training workshop starting next week um you're going to be able to see it okay for those who are watching later it might be even me sooner right um uh, so yeah that's a good question too by the way all right so yeah let me announce uh, uh mark is asking is this uh live yes we are live okay marcus yes so you know we are live i always do it uh live so i uh, basically um uh so uh so are these trainings on the site so this is gonna be uh available right here on youtube you also have tutorials so if you go into the tutorials tab, we're going to be publishing them. And also you can watch it later on as well if you want. So all these tutorials are here as well. But I'll publish these as well if uh, it will help you. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Unsupervised learning. Yeah. This is the goal here. So the idea is that you give it documentation. It's going to learn based upon that. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah. So let me announce the last winner here. Congrats to my team. Just sent over uh, the uh, winner here. So congrats to here we go. Uh, again, this is a $50 winner here, and um, so uh, we should be good to go. All right, so the winner is, here we go. Congrats to our winner, and um, my team just sent that out. I'm just trying to find the comment here so I know who uh, it is here, right? So, all right, congrats to our winner, and that is James Reagan. Uh, congrats to you, James. You are our next uh, $50 winner. So let me make a note here, James. Um, oh yeah, $50 winner. Congrats to you. I'll get in touch with you. My team will be getting in touch with you, James. 
congrats to you. Um, um, and uh, yeah, congrats to you for winning. All right. So one other thing, folks. Okay, real quick. Uh, you can go into our Facebook group, right? Um, Facebook, and you go to my Facebook group uh, account right now. And then um, we have 42,300 people here in our Facebook group. Just make sure you subscribe here and, and interact here. I'm announcing one winner every single day, sometimes even more. I'm giving away swag like this. I'm giving away, um, you know, like cash, hard cash, PayPal over to you and stuff like that just to make things fun. Because I want you folks to help each other out. You see all this uh, interactivity here? Um, it's great. This is what we want, right? People interacting and people posting stuff that they're doing with the application and stuff like that. That's what I want uh, to hear, right? So um, that's the great part about our community here. So the goal is to um, um, have all these winners. So again, in, in case uh, you folks missed the winners, I'll just announce them one more time. So the winners was Al Bernard, Raymond Porter, Cheryl Tips, uh, Al Tay, and James Regan. Uh, congrats to you. Um, and okay, now again, I'll, if any question was not answered, I'll leave the link up. Uh, this is the support email. Please email our support uh, folks here. I'll try. They will try our best to answer it. Uh, one important thing I want to mention here is that uh, uh, you can check out the demos here. See, sometimes, you know, for this this uh, webinar, I couldn't get the chance to show some of the live speak examples because I have to uh, have my microphone speak. You were not able to hear. But all the demos are here. And you can go to the human body slash yes page. You'll see the demos you have. I created a demo as well, demo video as well and all that. So you can see that uh, there as well. OK, so that uh, uh, you can uh, basically uh, do that now. Um, uh, so the um, uh, this is the question Marcus was saying. I'm, I'm not answering his question, so let me see here. Uh, will these uh, have this language request? Will this be av uh, available? If a lot of people request for it, Marcus will put that in. So again, this is because my question is not being answered. He's saying just just to answer that question. Uh, now, um, uh, just one quick point. People are saying like, how do I get started? Watch our tutorials first. Okay, watch my welcome video. Watch the tutorials. Get up to speed with it and then you're good to go, okay? I'm gonna be doing live workshops coming in in the next few days, uh, maybe even sooner, depending on when you're watching this. Um, um, so just join that, register for that. In there, I'm gonna be announcing the uh, with these uh, bonuses as well. Like, obviously this is the six weeks. There, I'm gonna be announcing this uh, uh, voice chat that's gonna be released then. I'm gonna show you how to use it. This is already available. Um, this is gonna be announced then as well. Uh, Pre-trained industry boxes are we are adding as we speak. And uh, this bonus as well is already added in, um, as you can imagine, right? So you get instant access to this one as well. So uh, all these bonuses are automatically added in as we speak, and you can join them in, and I'll announce them so you get results with this stuff, right, longer term. So again, I left the link below, humanbot.io.com. I hope you enjoyed this training. Uh, you know, if you purchase from me here, let me know in the chat box. Like, so people understand that we take care of you. I care about you. I actually do these live streams. If you enjoyed this walkthrough where I went through the features, answer your questions, Imagine how good our training inside is, right? Imagine how good it is where I actually walk you through how to get results. Sometimes I'm going to have to drag you to the finish line. I have to push you to success. I will do it. Some people need to be forced to succeed. Some people need to be forced to implement stuff. I will do it. If that's what it requires, I'll do it, okay? And I want to make sure uh, that, uh, you know, you basically do that, right? And I want to also uh, have you understand here that, you know, a product is only as good as its training. A product is only as good as its um, you know, interactivity. The product is only as good as its community. The product is only as good as its constant updates. The product is only as good as customer support. The product is only as good as somebody who actually is using their product and drinking their own Kool-Aid, so to speak, like using it in their business and improving it as we go along, right? And that's what you get with us compared to everybody else. Everybody else out there, they'll put up hundreds of upsells, downsells, all that mumbo jumbo stuff. They'll also not give you the customer support you deserve. They're not even going to uh, go out of their way on the phone or whatever to help you if that's what's needed. They're not going to go out of their way, for example, uh, to even train you on how to use the application longer term. And on top of that, they move on to the next thing and the next thing. And you're left high and dry. We want to do it a little bit differently. And uh, I want to make learning fun as well. Okay, does that make sense? So that, um, um, uh, so that you understand that, okay? Uh, now, um, again, the goal here is that I want to give you value so that you're super excited about being part of this. And my goal here is also so that you enjoy the process of being part of this. Okay. And I'm going to tell you with the track record that we have over the last decade plus, um, you will see the fact that at the end of the day, I've been having such longevity in this industry and I've been in the space for so long. It's because of the fact that 
I care. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, uh, make sure I, I make sure like every single person here I know, like James Reagan, I've seen you before. Uh, like every single, like Al Tay, I've seen you in our um, in like Facebook group. Some like majority of you I already know by name, you know, Rajat, uh, Rana, I know you, like so many names here, like I can find, right? Like uh, Ryan uh, here, I know you as well. So like all you folks, I appreciate you for coming in to our live streams and stuff, but I also know you by person. And that's what I, uh, that's what our community is all about, right? I know you by person, I can address you by person. And also the cool thing is before you even ask me a question, I know what question you'll ask because I know what business you're in. I know what uh, industry you're in, what your use case is, right? And that's why the back of my mind, you see, when you look at human bar, right? It's so flexible. It has all the features. It's not like, oh, we're going to come up with this uh, chat tree feature or this flexibility feature, keyword trigger feature, smart AI, contextual AI. All the stuff you see, right? I already thought through it because of folks like yourself, um, where I've thought through, like removing the branding, for example. I already thought through it because I know I speak to you folks every single day, right? And that's why we can make it better and better, the technology, right? And I'm going to tell you, if you already got in, please let me know in the chat box as well. Post your transaction ID. What I'm going to do is after this live stream is done, for those who got in and posted your transaction ID here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one more winner and announce in our Facebook group uh, just for fun because I'm announcing every day, right? Just so that I know and I can make a note of it that who came into this live stream, spent some time and purchased our tool. Uh, so that way I know as well that uh, when we're doing a live stream coming up workshop, I'll make a note of you folks and I'll go back and read all the chat questions you folks had. So before you even come into the live stream, I'll answer those questions um, right away. You don't have to ask it again and again, right? So one of the questions was, for example, can I create keyword triggers? I know that now. So when we come to the live stream, I'll, I'll have a special training session uh, sp spending time on that without even asking you for it, right? Um, some of you folks were asking about network marketing, affiliate marketing. Well, I'll talk about that specifically as well. Uh, so that way we don't have to really worry about it later on, you know? Uh, you don't have to say, I came to the webinar, he, he didn't answer my question. I I'll ask him before you even ask me, right? Uh, so that that's the main thing, okay? Uh, now, Randall, appreciate you all. Okay, by the way, Jason, appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you all. John, appreciate you. Um, I uh, appreciate you all for getting in. Join our Facebook group if you haven't already, right? Uh, thank you, Justin, for getting in. Thank you, Steve, for getting in, right? Um, thank you, Marcus. Um, and, and thank you so much, Brian. Appreciate you for sharing. Thank you so much, Marcy. Um, thank you, Al. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, uh, Justin says, do I still get the goodies mentioned? 100%. Uh, so how you're going to get access to those, Justin, again, just in case a lot of people are asking this, and I want to make sure uh, those who came in late don't miss out on this point, is all the bonuses that I mentioned, you get instant access to them. Some of them are rolled out a little bit, right? Uh, uh, but you'll go to the login to the HumanBot application. You'll see my welcome video. Uh, you'll see that uh, right here. You see that? Uh, get your human bot bonuses, you'll see that activated in your account. Uh, okay, just want to be clear. Okay, regardless, you got it yesterday, today, doesn't matter, right? Uh, you should be good to go. Okay, uh, Anthony, appreciate you for getting in. Uh, Rick, appreciate you as well. Al, congrats on winning. Uh, Donald, uh, uh, thank you, appreciate you as well. Uh, thank you, Infopix Creative, appreciate you there. Uh, thank you, Marcus, been a great customer over the years, really appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Nevets. Uh, as well. Uh, thank you, Maliaki. Thank you, all you folks. Okay, perfect. Um, thank you, Christina, as well. All right, so I'll be announcing more winners in our group post. Okay, folks, so if you are uh, uh, like in our Facebook group, any post you make, doesn't matter, you'll be enrolled into one of our lucky draw winners for every day I'm announcing a new winner, okay, just for fun. And I'll be giving the swag as well uh, for those who like it instead of cash or whatever you prefer, doesn't really matter. I want to give you as much cash as possible. It's fun, right? And also who better to give back to than anybody else. And the greatest gift I can give you, again, I mentioned this before and I want to mention this and drive with this point, is making human mind the cheapest possible product for you for the greatest value possible. No upsells, no downsells, no need for you to uh, buy for extra updates. And you get unlimited traffic, unlimited websites, unlimited campaigns you can build, right? And also unlimited, you know, speech, like the, the human bot can speak as much, right? And also the flexibility of removing the branding. You don't have to buy extra money for it. The flexibility of live chat, where you can speak to a live chat agent uh, and move it over with unlimited live chat. So because if you go to a business and say, I already have Zendesk, I already have like some live chat platform, right? Well, you can say you can save money on that because if you're spending $200 a month on that, you can replace it with this platform and you don't have to pay monthly fees, right? And you can get them. So we thought through all this stuff because of this fact that, you know, speak to your customers like yourself every single day, right? So appreciate you all. 
Thank you so much. If you haven't already gotten it, get it. Before it's gone, I just want to be clear. This pricing will be probably removed um, in the future. So if you see that link, it probably already went up the price. I'm sorry you missed out for good. Okay. If you go to that page, womenbarrier slash yes, and if the price changed, you missed it. Because as I said, we'll be closing this down uh, and then we're going to reopen it in the future with a lot of add ons and extra stuff. You don't have to do all that, but future people will have to, right? And um, you'll be grandfathered in. So appreciate you all. Have a great day and everyone in the world. Get in if you haven't already. And I'll, I hope to get to know you better and in person and uh, getting to help you reach your goals. Thank you.